Hello, the first person I can see on here, Ron Wilson, how are you today? Welcome in. Hello, hello, how are you all? Hello, Miss Karen, hello. Zadi, Glenda, hello. How are you all doing? Happy, happy Monday. Thomas, welcome. Alyssa Wooten, hello. Yes, happy Monday. How's everybody doing? Sonia, hello. Happy Monday. Deku, hello. Happy Monday. Nancy, Miriam, Nina Hill, hello. Maggie and Lottie and Pamela. Chris, how you doing? Hello. Eula, cooking with Nikki, hello. Karen, hello, Maddie Watts, Barbara, Bruni, Saj, hello. Christine Brown, hello, Miss Karen. Uh, it's Darium, hello, how are you? Tracy Anderson, how are you? Ursel, hello. Mildred, hello. Miss B, hello, hello. Shirley Clark, welcome in. Paula Jackson, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, happy Monday to each and every one of you all. I couldn't be more excited to be here with you all today. We're gonna have good, good fun today. Denise Billups, Mary Lou, hello. Valencia, welcome back. What are we cooking good today? Well, we're gonna make something called Rasta Pasta. Rasta Pasta is an easy, delicious dish and it's made with noodles. It can be made with chicken or shrimp. And um, depending on how you make it, it can be spicy, but doesn't have to be spicy. This is definitely a recipe. If you're not making it today, you should take notes on it because you'll love this recipe. If you're one of those people out there that just loves a good pasta dish, you're gonna love, love, love this here recipe. Kenya Swain and Helen, welcome in. Michael the Gamer, welcome back. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun. How's the puppies doing, says Shannon. Shannon, they are doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you, thank you. Aloha and howdy, folks. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Vanessa, welcome in. I hope y'all are having a good day today. Happy, happy Monday as you come in. Bring the thumbs up, up. Linda, welcome in. Shirley Clark, hey, welcome back. Mildred, hello. Mildred says, Saj, Miss B, Miss Karen, Renee, Denise, and Miss Tris, welcome back. Brenda Burrell, blessings to you and yours as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. G Hughes, welcome back. Kim Hodge, hello, Jen B, welcome. I got the time confused. Oh, you did. Okay, 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 okay. So now I think what I'm gonna do is I think what I want to do is on Mondays and Wednesdays, I think that I want to revert the lives to uh, six o'clock and more people can come. When we put the lives on six o'clock, more people can show up versus having it at five. Some people are still at work and they feel like they can't cook with me. So um, I, I, I'm pretty sure there may be some times that I turn around and switch it. And if I do that, I'll put a community post up saying, hey, the time has changed. We're gonna do five o'clock today, you know. But I'll, I'll definitely keep you all in the realm of the times okay but for now i think i want to stick to that six o'clock on mondays and wednesdays and then on saturday still do four o'clock okay y'all i got some food in my teeth i need to get it out give me one second i'll be right back <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back don't go nowhere <laughs>
smiled and I said, oh my goodness, I got food stuck in my tooth. Okay, Wanda McMullen is, oh, you said, is Wanda here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hello, everybody. How many of you all are excited for a recipe like this? Renee, welcome back. Mo over there, hello. Shirley Clark and Miss Tris. Angela Casey, welcome, welcome. Thomas Smith, I was going to make Gina's pot pie, but didn't have the mixed vegetables. Oh my goodness. So if you ever get um, where that happens, if you have something like uh, just peas in your, in your cabinet, you could use that. Or if you have like peas in your cabinet that's in the can, or corn, you could use that instead of the mixed vegetables. It, it would be just as delicious. I'm always ready for your recipes, Ron, that's great, that's great. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm getting ready to get up. And before I get up, I'm gonna run through the items to tell you all what you're gonna need. So for this recipe, we do use heavy cream, which is whipped cream, you know, the, the pourable kind. Not, not cool whip, like whip, whipping cream. <laughs> How am I saying that? I'm saying it all wrong. I'm saying it all wrong. Okay, so we're gonna use heavy cream. Okay, it's, you know what heavy cream is. If you can't find it, you can also use uh, like a half and half. We're gonna also use a really interesting ingredient, which is coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk for this recipe. We're gonna use bell peppers, different colors, red, green, orange, yellow if you want to. The different colors um, is really nice in this recipe. Each bell pepper lets off a different flavor and puts that color into this dish. We're gonna use some onion and we're gonna use the penne noodles. The penne noodles, if you can't find them, you can use a different type of noodle. So today I'm gonna use pre-cooked chicken. So if there's anybody in this chat today that wants to cook with me, and their chicken is not cooked, just let me know. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be uh, just telling you how to make the recipe, okay? How, what to do to your chicken so that you can cook it, all right? Denote, de de how do I say it? Devon, diva, no. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Anderson, welcome in. <laughs> I am watching, says Eula. K hey, Coffee, welcome back in. Okay, okay. So um, we're gonna get up. Let me grab my apron out of the dryer and we're gonna rock and roll. So <clears throat> if you're cooking with me, the first thing that I want you all to do, hold on y'all, let me grab it. <sighs> first thing I want you all to do is get your noodles going. Okay, uh, these noodles here, you can use the whole pound, but you can use a little less too if you want to. We're gonna use uh, fresh thyme as well for this recipe. Okay, so um, go ahead and get your water boiling for this. We're gonna salt the water. What is it? Who is it? Oh, okay, okay. We're going to salt the water boil the water after the water begins to boil we'll throw these in for 11 minutes so they can cook up just perfectly okay so that's the first thing you can do while i grab my aprons and wash my hands all right and then, then i get my apron on we're gonna have fun if you can think of any fun interesting topics that that would be like a great conversation piece write it down and when i come back around after cooking we can talk about whatever you all want to talk about and we'll be able to keep the conversation going you may be that person that wants to talk about uh i don't know food you may want to talk about relationships. I don't know. Somebody might want to talk about cars, whatever. But write it down and we can keep the conversation going. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let me grab my apron. So now I just put a video out for how to make spaghetti with hot dogs in it. And the spaghetti that I just made with hot dogs in it is totally delicious. 
It is packed with so much flavor. You're definitely, if you haven't watched the video, you're going to want to check out the video when you get off of here and see how it's made. You're going to love, love, love the recipe, how easy it is, and especially you're going to love how delicious it is. My Holy King, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I got my apron going. Oh, the hot dog spaghetti looks delicious. Well, thank you, Angela. All right, I'm gonna put the microphone on so you all will be able to hear me from a further distance. All right, Robert, welcome. Miss Tris beats in the building. Okay, the microphone is on. Dance a yard, welcome. Good evening, TNG. My holy king, how you doing today? Thank you all for coming back. Welcome to each and every one of you. If you're new, I, let me know that you're new. I would love to be able to welcome you, but please understand that, y'all, I'm just one person. I only got two eyes. And sometimes it's really hard for me to recognize you when I'm working. Or even when, you know, we're just sitting here talking, it's really hard for me to just continuously stare at the, um, the comments and read every single comment. Sometimes it's just impossible. So if at any time, um, you know, you feel like I missed your name or I missed your comment, I apologize ahead of time, okay? Great, my holy king, okay. All right, so let's do this. Raymond, welcome in. Sea Life, welcome in. We understand, Gina. Well, thank you for understanding. I, I greatly appreciate it. Let's flip this camera over. Let's get started. Let's have fun. Happy, happy Monday. Jackie, welcome. Okay, I need that computer. So the first thing that I'm going to do, Joyce, welcome in. If you're new, let me know. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to the current subscribers. I love every single one of you. Let me have that. Are you ready? Does it need to be plugged up right now or we can wait? Okay, let me know how the lighting is. All right, first thing I wanna do is wash my hands. And then I wanna talk about, I'll, I'll talk to the people that want to make this recipe and you're using chicken that's raw, what you're gonna do. Or you wanna make this recipe and you want to use shrimp, what you're gonna do, okay? And I, um, if you are cooking chicken, I'll wait on you. Okay, I don't mind waiting on anybody in this chat that's cooking along with me, okay? Let me get my hands nice and clean. Okay, my hands are nice and clean. I am going to turn on this pan behind me. That's my water that I'm boiling so I can make my noodles. So I'm bringing the water up to a boil. And uh, when we go put the pasta in the boiling water, I'll show you how much salt I like to put into my water. Okay, so I'm going to take the salt and the noodles over this way. Happy, happy Monday. Welcome back in. Uh, rasta pasta. Let's talk about it. Rasta pasta is
is a dish from the islands, right? I do know that Jamaicans make this here recipe, but then I also know that people all over the world make this recipe, okay? So this recipe has been made like in places like Hawaii and stuff like that, and different people make it different. But I tell you one thing, if, like I said, if you like noodles, you're gonna totally rock out on this recipe. Okay, so let me move some of my stuff aside, which is my spices and things. Because the first thing I want to do, I want to talk to you all if you're using raw chicken or you're putting shrimp in today, I'm going to tell you what you need to be doing right now. Because I'm not going to do it because I have pre-cooked chicken. Okay, so what I want to talk about, if you, let's just say, let's just say you want to make this recipe and you purchase thin cut chicken breast or you just have some chicken that you want to use. There's a couple of different things that we can do. You can turn around, you can put your chicken into water and boil it until it's nice and cooked, okay? Absolutely you can. Throw some seasonings in there, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Bring it up to a boil until your chicken is fully cooked, right? Once it's fully cooked, you can pull it apart by hand after it's cooled down a little bit, or you can chop it up, okay? Making sure that you take off the skin and the bones. Okay, the next thing that you can do, if you decided that you were using a chicken breast or a chicken tender, you can turn around, put some oil in a pan, season up your chicken with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, okay? Check me out salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and saute that baby up until your chicken is cooked. Now let me explain that one more time for the, pe for the people in the back. You're going to take your chicken breasts, your chicken tenders, all right, slice them or dice them, put them in the pan with a tiny bit of oil just in the bottom of your pan, and cook your chicken until it's done. You're going to season it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Since I have already cooked chicken, only thing that I need to do is take the chicken off of the bone and get rid of the skin, okay? Um, now, this happens to be like a cold rotisserie chicken that I purchased from my local market. You can also use the chicken that comes in the can. The chicken that comes in the can is delicious. It's all white meat. Of course, it's chicken breast and it's good, right? Just drain it, it's always good. You can also purchase the chicken that's pre-cooked like in the bag, in the deli section, and they tell you that it's been previously grilled. You can use that as well. So let me see if anybody has a serious question. If you have an honest, serious question, put a stop sign in the uh, chat, and in hopes that I'll see it. Sometimes I can't see it. But if you know the people in the background can help me say, hey, so-and-so's got a question, I can sometimes search for that question to be able to answer you, okay? So let me see, is everybody doing okay? And does anybody have any serious questions before we move forward? Charlene Bell, welcome. Kate Coffey, welcome. Capricorn, welcome. Florence, hello. Ashton Bull, welcome back. Shayla, hello. Mildred Ellis says hello to Kate Coffee. <laughs> Nadine, hello. DT, hello. Not, let, let, you said no, not new to the building, just popping in every now and then. Okay, well, welcome. Welcome, DT. All right, so everybody's doing okay. All right, so let's do this. My hands are impeccably clean. First thing I'm going to do, I'm taking the bones. Out. I'm getting rid of the skin. I'm going to pull the chicken apart. You may even see me chop the chicken. Okay, so now I have water boiling. Come, come follow me, y'all. Already, come on over. Come on over, follow me. We have boiling water. I want to boil my one pot of, it's like one pound of the penne. It's called penne regate right? But just look for penne noodles, okay? So you can use a pound or you can use less than a pound, okay? There we go. 
and I like to salt the water so that it tastes good and it has flavor. Don't be afraid to salt the water, but for some reason, if you can't use it, then, then just omit the salt. So what I like to do, once I begin to cook my noodles, we're gonna give them a nice stir, cook those babies for 11 minutes. They're gonna turn out nice and perfect. So when you all walk away, I'm gonna grab my little spoon here. I'm getting ready to stir it right now so that the noodles don't stick. We're not putting any oil in this water. We don't have to. We don't have to. It's going to have a beautiful sauce on it. The noodles will not stick. Okay. Now that the noodles are going, let's go ahead and we got bell peppers and onions to cut. We got chicken to cook or chicken to pull apart. Let's get those things done, okay? So this is a whole chicken. So I have two breasts, two legs, two wings, two thighs. Okay, look at this here. <laughs> oh wait, I'm just gonna pull it apart. And then at any time, if I feel like there's pieces that's too big, I'm just gonna run through it with my knife, you know, just to make the pieces nice and small. And what you said, Antoni? Antoni, welcome. Rasta pasta is so good, says my holy king. You bet it is. You bet it is. It is delicious. And I, I, I'm I, not sure if a lot of people know about this recipe. If they don't know about it, they need to watch this here live to find out about it and see how gorgeous and delicious it is. It's packed with flavor. And you, have you all ever heard about, like you ever heard somebody say uh, something like, it tastes better the next day? This is one of those recipes. Tastes better the next day. You're gonna love to send your husband or your wife or your friend, hold on guys, or whoever to work the next day with the rasta pasta. Everybody in the break room is gonna be asking them, what is it? What do you have? Can I taste it? Hold on y'all, my water boiled over. So, since my water boiled over, I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit and I poured some water on. Simple fix. No, no freaking out in the kitchen. I, nobody freak out in this kitchen. Okay. So now we're gonna to continue to take the meat off the bones, discard of the skin. I know there's people out there that said, Gina, don't throw the skin away, that's the best part. I know it's the best part and I love the skin, but for this recipe, we can't use the skin. Now, if there's somebody out there right now that wants to make this recipe and they wanna use shrimp, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that your shrimp is nice and clean. And I highly suggest, even though I'm one of those people that likes to have the tail on the shrimp, take the tail off this time. Clean your shrimp, saute it up. You're gonna season it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and just saute that shrimp up in a little bit of butter. And after it's nice and cooked, you're gonna set it aside and just leave it on the side until we're ready to incorporate it into the recipe, okay? Oh, you got a watermelon in the fridge that you need to cut. I don't know when the last time I've had a watermelon. It sure sounds good. It really does sound good. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this, um, <laughs> I'm gonna take this blue bracelet off. I had blue on earlier. I forgot to switch it up and, and make sure my, my bracelets is matching with this new shirt that I put on. Hello, purple love, welcome back in. Zadi, hello. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you all here today. If I miss your name, I apologize. I apologize. Forgive me. All right, gorgeous. So now, you see how we got some big pieces? You can tear it apart just like so, or you can chop it down with your knife. I, I know I already said it, but I just want to say it again. I feel like I'm going to run through this again with my knife just to make the pieces not so big. So I feel like the flavor, how we're 
able to get that um, island flavor is by putting the thyme in there. Y'all know I'm not a, a fan of thyme. But I don't mind fresh thyme. It's the dry thyme that drives me nuts. It has like a funky smell. But I have some fresh thyme. That's going to make it feel like the islands. And then when we turn around and put the coconut milk in there, listen here. <laughs> I got jerk seasoning we throwing on that baby. Now, for some reason, if you couldn't find jerk seasoning, you're always going to use a Cajun seasoning. It, it's, it's very, very similar to jerk. Okay? So I'll turn around, look at some comments, and see what everybody's talking about, if everybody's doing okay. Oh, gee, Hughes. Okay. Welcome, Leon. Thank you all for coming in and joining today. T. Smith says, I love Rasta Mint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Gina and everyone. Denise Phillips, hello, how are you? Thank you for coming back and joining us. I'm so pleased to have you all here. All right, let's see. Now, I'm looking, I might not need all of this chicken, so we'll, we'll just see. Charlene Bell, thank you for the hugs and the kisses and the hearts, I appreciate that. Dina, what's, it's in Dance a Yard, it's in my um, about section, if you look at my about section, you will see my email, I have several emails, but that's the email that you need to uh, uh, address me on. Uh, they said if they use canned chicken, how much? Oh yeah, if you use canned chicken, you can use one to two cans, one to two cans is just fine, you don't, you don't need a whole lot, okay? You really don't. And I feel like this right here, this was two thighs. Let's see, this was two thighs in a leg. That's plenty enough. I'm not even gonna use this breast here. And this other leg and these two wings, I don't need it. I don't want, oh, I don't want too much chicken in there. Right, absolutely I don't. So now I'm gonna put this on here and you're gonna see me run through with my knife, like I said, okay, and so if you're asking me what size can, the little cans. The little cans, two of them is good, but if you got one big one, that's even better, okay? So you don't have to overwhelm it with chicken, but you do want to have some chicken in there, so with every bite, you get a piece of chicken, you know? And if you're um, using the shrimp, get about a pound of shrimp. And you can also, when it comes to, let me wash my hands, y'all. Uh, when you use your shrimp, you can cut your shrimp to make more if you'd like to, okay? So that's a great idea and a great way to make more shrimp when you don't have a whole lot, okay? Oh yeah, I, I, I know you all are taking notes. You, you need this recipe in your repertoire. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm thinking? <laughs> Is that the right word, y'all? Repertoire? <laughs> Just join What Are We Making? And your name is Jackal. We are making something called Rasta Pasta. We're making Rasta Pasta and it's going to be good. My family goes nuts when I make it. So I'm going in, okay? And I want to double back, chop up my chicken in such a manner Make sure that you discard of the skin and get rid of the bones. Okay, beautiful. This recipe is going to come together so quickly, you all are going to absolutely love how quick this recipe can be made. You're going to feel like you're definitely in the islands. You are. You're going to feel like you're in the islands with this recipe. You're going to say, man, Gina took me to Jamaica today. Yeah, you are. You are. All right, so I got my chicken diced and sliced up just how I want it. Rasta pasta in the house tonight, absolutely. Hold on, y'all, I wanna take my, uh, I wanna take this bracelet off that don't match nothing I got on. Let's see if I can get it off real quick. And you know what? I might not be able to take it off. Guess why? Cause I put this the baby on tight. It's the kind that you gotta tie. You don't tie you it. You want to untie it? 
Huh? Why did you tie it? You because just... I tie it to make it tight because my wrist is... I got the smallest wrist. All right, all right. Okay, K Coffee, I see you, says Lynette. All right. <clears throat> we have chicken. Let's put our chicken into a platter. A plate or a bowl. And the first thing that we have to do is chop up bell peppers and onions. You can use one bell pepper, but I suggest if you're gonna make a Tina Young style, use the tricolor bell peppers because that's traditionally what they would use to bring that color in. These are the colors that you have to have. The green, the yellow, the red, okay? Just like so, okay, we have that. All right, how about it? Clean this up just a little bit. Clean up as you're going. If you clean up as you go, you're gonna help yourself not be stressed out at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, let's grab bell peppers and onions. Thank you for bringing the thumbs up up. If you look up and you realize, I didn't bring it, I didn't put a thumbs up. Make sure you bring the thumbs up up. Okay, I'm here to show you all a good time. The least you can do is give me a thumbs up. Okay, watch me. Bell peppers in the house. Now, you can slice them, dice them. This is what I'm going to do. Just like that. that. That's how I want it. That's how it would normally be, do, be um, put into an authentic Rasta pasta. Just like so. Same with the red. And then you're going to see the colors and you're really going to think, Jamaica man. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're going to think that. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm all excited. I'm excited for this recipe. And you should be too. Oh, wait, bell peppers and onions, says Saj. Absolutely. Saj, how you doing today? If you haven't had rasta pasta, my holy king says, better make you some. If not, get it from your local Jamaican restaurant. Aha! Uh -huh. Somebody knows about it. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's good. It's good. It's a recipe you need in your life. You need this recipe in your life. All right, look at the gorgeous color shining already. Now, there's a trick. And the trick is not to cook these veggies too much. If you cook them too much, guess what you're gonna do? Well, you turn around and the recipe won't be as bright and vibrant as it should be, okay? You want for these bell peppers and onions to remain nice, bright, and beautiful. And the way to do that is not cooking it too much. Cooking it too much, it loses its vibrance. Is that the word? <laughs> it loses its vibrance, and then the peppers get mushy. And we don't want no, we don't want no mushy peppers. No mushy peppers around here. All right, perfect. I'll put this into a omelet. So let me grab that and I'll I, I tell you what, I'll put it over here for now. And then we're gonna cut up some onion. Oh, this recipe comes together quickly. Hold on, y'all. In the meantime, I need to check on my noodles. So let me see how the noodles is doing. Looking good. I'm gonna cook it just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. If you're that person that loves good garlic, absolutely, you can use garlic for this recipe, okay? So now we're gonna take, this is just an empty pan. We will be using about a tablespoon of oil, okay? Just about a tablespoon, any kind of oil you have is just fine. Okay, now since my chicken is already cooked, I'm going to fold the chicken in after the bell peppers and onions get cooked, okay? Because all we need to do with that chicken is really just kind of heat it up, okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to use too much onion. 
I don't want to overwhelm this recipe using too much onions and I don't want my eyes to water. <laughs> I tell you what, every time I'm ordering food, I sit there and I think about getting the pre-cut onions, but then I say no. If I do that, no, I'm not going to do it. But I'm always tempted. All right, a little bit of onion serves us right. If you like fresh garlic, get you some in there. All right. Come in on this, and you all can see what's happening. Can you all see that? Gorgeous colors, looking like Jamaica man. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> I had to laugh at myself. <laughs> Let me get some oil to put in this pan. And we're gonna get the peppers and onions going. If you want garlic, throw it in there once the peppers and onions is cooked. Okay, I'm just putting a teaspoon in. Not a lot, not a lot of oil. That's it. Now we will salt and pepper our peppers and onions once they begin to cook. When you put salt on your veggies, believe it or not, it brings out a beautiful sweetness in the peppers, right? Absolutely it does. So we will salt and pepper them uh, shortly, okay? So now there may be some people in the background that just doesn't like coconut milk. I know that there's people out there that don't like it. If you don't like it, you're just gonna use the heavy cream for this recipe and you'll be able to enjoy it. Okay, so, but if you want it to taste authentic, you need this, you need this. But let's just say you're the person, you say, oh, heck no, Gina, I just don't like coconut milk. Keep in mind, this is unsweetened coconut milk. If you don't like it, I'm going to suggest that you use this heavy cream here, okay, and use about a teaspoon of curry powder. Check me out, like, like I have a whole idea in my brain. It's like stuck here. You're gonna use the whip, whipping cream, a little tiny bit of curry powder, and it's gonna turn you out. It's gonna turn you out, and they're gonna say, what happened to her, what happened to him? And you're gonna say, the Rasta Pasta Gina showed me how to make, turn me out. <laughs> okay, so it's just an idea, just in case you don't like coconut, because some people don't like it. So I turned this up onto a medium heat. We're just gonna let it rock and cook out for a while, okay? Meanwhile, I need to check my noodles. If my noodles are done, we're going to drain them and I'm gonna come and look at some uh, messages. Someone says, Sea Life says, Rasta pasta sounds super yummy, especially the coconut milk. Listen, it's so good. You're gonna be, you be licking them fingers, it's so good. Because I haven't timed, what is it? What is it? Your hat. My hat, is, is it, oh, it's sticking up? Because I haven't timed uh, my noodles, I want to taste this noodle, okay? So let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let the noodles cook for about another two minutes. And then I think we'll be good right there. Miss Tris said, Gina's pot. I, I know, Miss Tris, you're gonna, I know you're gonna say it. I know you're gonna say it. I'm gonna give you something to drink, y'all, because I am extremely thirsty. I'm just gonna grab some ice and some water. Can you give me a thing of water, please? the question. 
Listen, they use scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet is definitely too hot for me. It is. I have made a couple of recipes where I've used scotch bonnet, but it's, it's hot, y'all. <laughs> it's hot, and I don't want to send anybody to the ER, right? But scotch bonnet will give you, believe it or not, scotch bonnet has a great flavor, right? But it will knock you off your socks because it's so hot. So yes to that, absolutely, and if you wanted to, if you like the heat, go ahead and use it. Put you some red pepper flakes in, but here's what I'm gonna tell you, Ron. I'm gonna use this here Caribbean Traditions Jerk Seasoning. Can the camera come in on it? Okay, and when I opened it, um, you know how you gotta take the paper off? I opened it and I tasted it, and it has heat to it. So this is gonna bring you some good heat. If you're looking for heat that tastes good, but it's not gonna, you know what I mean, put you on fire, this is really good, and you can find it in Walmart, in the ethnic section, right, where you can find like the Sazon, okay, and like the Goya products, and stuff like that. You're gonna find this, okay, I, I promise you. But let's just say you can't find it, because I know that things like that can happen. If you can't find it, then I'm just going to suggest that you use a Cajun seasoning. And as we know, Cajun seasoning has spice in it as well. So let's pay attention to this. Take a look at it. We don't want to overcook it. We want it to get nice and soft, but we also want it to stay vibrant. If you're cooking your chicken or your shrimp, that's great. Keep it going until it's fully cooked. When your chicken and shrimp is perfectly cooked, take it off the pan and get these veggies going, okay? And eventually we're gonna get the meat, whether it's chicken or shrimp, back into here, okay? I'm taking my noodles out because I don't want bushy noodles. All right, my noodles are done. I'm gonna drain them, okay? And I'm gonna rinse my noodles. You don't have to rinse your noodles. My purpose for rinsing the noodles is because I don't want them to stick together and I want them to cool down a little bit, okay? Miss Gina, let's see. I have coconut milk with my cereal. Oh, oh, is that right, you bet? How interesting. Gina, can you use frozen vegetables for this dish? Mary Graham. I'm sure. It, I know that you can purchase the frozen bell peppers and onions, and if you wanted to, you can, but keep in mind that frozen vegetables will um, have a lot of water in them, okay? So it may make your dish a little bit waterier. Waterier, is, is, that, is, that, is that a word? <laughs> it may make your dish watery a little bit, how about that? And uh, so, if you can find it fresh, that's what I would suggest. But if you can't and all you have is frozen, go ahead and try it. Okay? Hello, picking it. Tommy, welcome in. Okay, Jackie says, Gina, I just moved last week and I'm trying to get my kitchen back in order so I can do more cooking with you. Okay. Well, congratulations on the move, Jackie. Can you, use you get it together. Yeah, no lottery food, says my holy king. Can you use wet jerk seasoning? Can you use what? Oh, can you use wet jerk seasoning? Sure you can. Sure you can. I don't see there's a problem with that. That's a great question. Under the title, there are different options. There is thumbs up, hit that. Oh, okay. I, I think you're talking to Florence. Okay. What kind of sauce are you using? Well, we're going to make a sauce. And how are we going to make the sauce? We're going to be using heavy cream. I'm getting ready to show you. Let me rinse my noodles. Let me just rinse my noodles, and then we'll talk about the sauce. The sauce is going to consist of this thick coconut milk, unsweetened, but it's still delicious. Whipping cream. If there's anybody out there that wants to throw a little bit of fat in here, like just like a tablespoon of butter, 
Absolutely you can. It would be delicious. Okay, and there has been times where I put like a tablespoon of butter. I may do it today. Oh, I'll depend on how I'm feeling. Right? So this is going to be the sauce. But not only is this going to be the sauce, the bell peppers and the onions, it's also going to give it like some texture to your sauce. I don't know, I don't know why I did that. I think that must mean texture. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I like, oh, you like the grace jerk seasoning, Miss Chris says. Grace jerk seasoning is absolutely amazing. And um, this is grace. This is grace as well. It's grace, but it's the powder form. But grace has a jerk seasoning that comes in a liquid form that's also delicious. Now, at some point in time, we're going to want to add some thyme, fresh thyme. Fresh thyme smells gorgeous. I'm not a fan of dry thyme. Dry thyme kind of messes me up a little bit. It don't physically do anything to me. I don't like dry thyme. <laughs> so fresh thyme is going to be what you almost really, really need for this recipe. You need it because traditionally it would be in here. So now you can put the whole sprig down in here and some of the leaves will fall off and the flavor from these stems will let off amazing flavor. Or you can go backwards, come in close y'all. Or you could take your finger and push backwards onto the stem this way until your pieces come off, okay? So it's really up to you what and how you wanna do it. I think now would be the perfect time that we can put our sprigs, just two sprigs is all you need, of um, your thyme, let it let off some flavor, and then later on, no worries. Later on, we're going to go back and fish out those two big stems, okay? Because you don't want nobody to eat it, right? So now, come on in. Take a look at what we got here. We got some good stuff going on. My peppers are beginning to get nice and soft. Ooh, and I'm getting all excited, okay? So now, I want to reincorporate my chicken or your shrimp whichever you decided that you wanted to use. Hold on one second, guys. Let's mix in. Look how gorgeous. I know, Gina, it is gorgeous. I tell you what, it's gorgeous and it tastes good. My goodness, work it, Gina. <laughs> -wee. But here's the thing, I have to be honest with you all. Every single thing that I can do in this kitchen, you all can do as well. And it's going to turn out exactly like mine's would. So now, um, you can use the Parmesan cheese, but Parmesan cheese, you don't have to use it. I want you to keep that in mind. You don't have to use it, okay? But it does help in addition with your um, sauce, okay? The same spices that we, let's see, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, parsley flakes if you want, and your jerk seasoning. Let's get this open if I can. Okay, there we go. Let's begin to season this up. Now, during this recipe, you're going to see me. Oh, Debbie, I hope you're feeling better. My goodness. Um, let's go ahead and season this. And then when we make our sauce, we're going to season it again if we need more seasoning. So I want to go in and season the vegetables and the chicken. We can do that right now. This smells good. Come on in. Uh-oh, my cameraman says it smells good. It is good. That's garlic powder. This is onion powder. <laughs> Ooh, wee. A little bit of salt. And your Cajun or jerk seasoning. If you're using liquid jerk seasoning, I suggest using a tablespoon and a half. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't skip on the flavor. Heck no, I didn't skip on the flavor. We want that flavor in there, right? Absolutely we do. So now, 
Let's stir it. We got, uh, it smells so good in here. You're right. All right, so remember, we're gonna have stems in there. Just be sure to take them out later. Some of you, um, I know a lot of people leave the stem in there and they just tell their loved ones, if you get the stem, take it out. But make sure you take it out before you feed it to your loved ones. Okay, so how's everybody doing before we move on? Hey, from Plainfield, New Jersey, right outside of New York, you're Cindy. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. LaShawn, welcome in. Sue, hello. Cold Australia here. Is it cold in Australia? My goodness. Debbie Gibson, welcome, welcome. Erka, Erka Huges, welcome. Gina's shirt colors go to, oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize, and I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I did not realize, and I didn't do it on purpose. That's so funny. Hanging in there with you, Gina. Okay, Denise, great. Gina, we're good, waiting for you to serve us the rasta pasta. Okay, so now let's take our noodles, and we're gonna put our noodles in. Oh yes, I, I know, I know some people right now is like, Gina, I can't believe how easy this recipe's coming together. I, I know, it's so much fun to make it. All right, so get your noodles in there. I'm hoping that my pan is big enough. I may just have to get another pan, but I, I I might be okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> this is the perfect noodle, and this is typically the noodle that they use as a penne noodle. And they'll also make their macaroni and cheese out of this penne noodle, versus how in America we use um, the elbow noodle, right? It, isn't that interesting? They use this noodle for their macaroni. All right. So can you? Is that going to be baked? Cindy, thank you. <laughs> I love your swag, Gina, huh? Leo, Leo says is that going to be baked. Leo, is this going to be baked? It's not going to be baked, but I tell you what, this could definitely be baked if you wanted to bake it. Absolutely. It could be baked if you wanted to, okay? So get everything nice and stirred, just like so in this manner. I'm very happy with this. What, what did we wind up doing? Okay. All right, so now that everything is mixed in, and all of those spices right now is coating the noodles, the flavor from the bell peppers and the onions, the flavor from the thyme is coating those there noodles right there. How about it? Let's think about opening up our coconut milk. <laughs> Annette, hello, hello, welcome, welcome to my little party in your honor. Who knows where that came from? Welcome to my party in your honor. Who said that on what movie, y'all? Who, who said that on what movie? Somebody out there knows. And if you know what I just said, what movie it came from, we're right here. I, I, let me look at the comment section. Thank you, Miss V. I know you can't do it, but I would love to hear the pop. Uh, hear what? Oh, hear Patro right now. I know, I can't, I can't play it, but it would be fun. Because that's exactly what I would be playing in the background. I don't know, I might be playing Shabba Ranks in the background. <laughs> it would be fun. Oh, thank you, Annette. Thank you so much. Uh, no, not coming to America, but you're very close. You are very close. It was um, The Last Dragon. The It was on The Last Dragon. Come come on, y'all. We're putting the whole, the whole thing, Gina? You bet we are. Oh my goodness, and listen here on today. Oh, we just did something really exciting, okay? And so now let's put some Parmesan cheese in. 
grated Parmesan. I typically like to use this powder form Parmesan versus the kind that shredded. It's just my preference, but if you have the shredded Parmesan, it's fine too, I, I, I promise, okay? So come on, you see that we put the whole can of the um, coconut milk and we stirred it up. Now we're gonna put this heavy cream. Oh my goodness, listen here. You ain't had nothing until you tasted this here recipe. Now since my pan is quite small, I'm just gonna be very gentle and careful not to spill out this gorgeous sauce that's in here. We're gonna let all these seasonings and spices and the thyme seep down in there. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna go in for that sauce. I wanna taste it because I need to know what it tastes like because if it needs more seasoning, then well, then I need to go in with more seasoning, okay? So if you have the shrimp, put the shrimp back in, okay? while it's simmering or in the last couple minutes so you don't overcook it. But this here is what you call rasta pasta. <laughs> I know, I know you gotta say it that way. And hopefully I don't sound like a total nut when I say that. Come on in, you can taste the sauce with me. Mm, mm, mm. I, I know, can you see the seasonings in it? Can they see the seasonings in there? I'm going in, I gotta taste it y'all. You got to be kidding me. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so good, but it needs more flavor, Tina. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm going in. It tastes so good. I need more seasoning. I'm gonna really open this up and I'm looking for that jerk spicy. All right, that jerk spicy using the jerk or your Cajun. I feel like I need a little bit more salt, so I'm putting it in. I'm gonna put more garlic and black pepper, and then I'm pretty sure this will do the trick. I'm also gonna put a tablespoon of butter to round it off, and guess what, Rasta pasta is done. How simple, who loved it? Somebody out there loves it. I can only imagine how good it tastes, Sonia. Mm, mm, mm. It really does. It really does, y'all. It tastes so good. Mm, mm, mm. And I love the little essence of the Parmesan being put in there. I love the essence of the Parmesan. Let's grab some butter. C come on, come, come on in. Come on in, look at it. I love, oh, I love how creamy and dreamy. This is creamy, dreamy, Gina Dreamy Rasta Pasta. Ooh, you, you better make you some. You better make you some, my goodness, look at that. Okay, hi Gina and everyone. Carmen, hello. Bill, welcome in. Mosquitoes are so disrespectful. Just bite you and leave you itching. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's funny. Woo, Gina. I know. I know. Okay, let's get some butter. We want to round it off. My mouth is salivating. And yours should be too. Yours should be too. than that tablespoon, okay? But all you need is a tablespoon. Let's stir it up. We will be putting more Parmesan. Oh my goodness. Listen here. The longer that it sits, it tastes better. I know, I whisper when I get excited. The longer that it sits, I got to taste this piece. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. I can't look right now with you, Gina. I can't. Mm. Oh, you can see a little kid's 
with naphthalm from mosquito bites. Oh my goodness. Okay, Deborah. Deborah says, will the sauce thicken up? Absolutely, the sauce will naturally thicken up. It's already kind of thick. Right now, as it's heating, right now as it's heating, it is somewhat thin. But you know that um, coconut milk and whipped cream is actually thick enough, okay? It will thicken up on your noodles as it cooks. And as it cools down, it'll thicken up on the noodles. It's not supposed to be a real heavy, thick sauce. Not like spaghetti sauce, but it's already thick enough. I'm doing good today, Denise Phillips. How are you, says Sue? Uh-huh, Miss Tress says, Gina's finally making rasta pasta. Now, guess what? Well, let me go ahead and take this time sprig out. There's another one in there. I'm not going to freak out about where it's at, you know, because when I see it, I'll take it out, okay? Come in. I want the person that said, is the sauce going to thicken up? I want that person to look at the sauce. Look at the sauce. Look at the sauce. Oh, my goodness. On today, the sauce is thick enough. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. So basically what we want to do, let's let this simmer for a good, let's just say 10 minutes, and then we're turning it off. Okay, I'm going to put some part. I am. I am. I'm putting Parmesan cheese on the top. And our recipe is basically ready to be served. We're going to put some uh, parm uh, parsley flakes just to make it nice and pretty. Come on in with the camera so they can see what we got, what we got. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you today and every day for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for this roof over our head. And the food that you give us and the peace and the joy that you bring in our lives. Please forgive us for our sins in the name of Jesus. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. May today be beautiful and successful in Jesus Christ's name. Everything that we do in life, Lord, we do it with you on our side. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'm going to come around. We're going to let this set for about 10 minutes. And then we'll sit down, eat. We're going to chit chat. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. And then when I bite this, you get that first bite. How easy was it? Somebody, somebody out there tell me it was easy. Here's the thing. Thank you all for saying amen. Tell me if you thought it was easy. Crump, welcome in. Looks delicious, Miss B. Thank you. Yes, it does, Sonia. <laughs> it was easy. Yes, very, very easy. It, it is. It's amazing and easy. Gina, just leave my plate on the front porch. <laughs> I know, right? I counted them bites. <laughs> very easy, says G. Hughes. Okay, I love that. Let me take this microphone off. <laughs> I can't even drink my drink without y'all hearing every single gulp. Microphones is off. Yes, easy, super easy. And this is the perfect dish for any day of the any day of the week. This is the perfect dish. So now let's talk about what we're doing tomorrow over on the new channel. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. yes, Belinda, very quick. Gina did, do you see the BET Awards? When did they come on? I, when did they come on? If, if they recently came on, we didn't watch them. Because last year when we watched them, or the last time we watched them, we couldn't believe what we seen on there. And it looked kind of scary and there was a whole bunch of crazy stuff happening. And so we said, I don't know if we're going to watch that again. When did it come on? Oh, last night? I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Uh-uh. You? Oh, what happened with Buster? Patti LaBelle's lyrics. Oh, okay. 
Well, I'll have to see. He done pulled something up. You're making us thirst again. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean making you thirst? <laughs> I, I'm, I hear you, Gina. Uh, you do? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Are we talking about something I don't know about? <laughs> Tanya Jenkins, welcome back in. Oh, what, what, here's what I was getting ready to say. Here's what I was getting ready to say. Over on the new channel. Thank you, Cindy. Over on the new channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina. Tomorrow, I'm showing you all how to stuff. How to stuff salmon and make it taste delicious. I have the recipe. I have the recipe for a recipe that you are going to want to ride home about when you taste this recipe. Listen here, it's gonna be easy and delicious. I have Miss Karen says, I can't wait. You eat, you eat nothing salmon? You don't eat salmon, Thomas? We got about five minutes to let this uh, simmer and then we're going to taste it. <laughs> we're going to taste it. It's good. So good. I'm going to have y'all sing a Shabba Ranks. I, I am. <laughs> it sounds so good, Christy. Okay. You actually never had salmon. Is that right? I'm doing okay, Alan. How are you? Let's see what Miss Karen is saying. I didn't see. What did Miss Karen say? Oh, you can't wait. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. So Purple Love says, um, my holy king, I had Rasta pasta with salmon, and it was delicious and spicy. Now, the two of those sound great together. So here's the thing. I'm going to show you on that channel how to make the delicious stuffed salmon that is so gorgeous in the inside. It's a beautiful sight to see. But not only it's beautiful when you look at it, but it tastes good. Whatever your family member puts on your plate or you put on your plate, you're going to devour it all because it's so delicious. You miss red. I love salmon no matter how it's made. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it does, Valencia, right? It does sound good. I can't wait to show you. So I don't know what time that video will actually post because what my plans are for tomorrow is me and my husband are going to do the Healthy Channel a video for the healthy channel two videos for this channel so at some point in time that video will get uploaded just just be on the lookout for it yes absolutely stuff salmon tomorrow uh-huh absolutely Sonya oh Gina that rasta pasta will be gone tonight it will it's simmering and you can you can smell the spice you can smell the chicken you can smell the thyme it tastes so good. You never had it. You better make yourself. I thought the recipe was easy. Also, we'll try it when the kitchen is free. We have a big family here and everybody cooks. Okay, that's great. Bonita, welcome in. Susan says, I love salmon. Okay, well, great. Ashton Bull says, have you ever made some like meatballs and gravy and rice? You can make that sure it sounds good i love a good meatball and i love rice and gravy 
I think that would be a perfect, I think that would be delicious. Yes, but pasta is filling, so you have to have, yeah, it, it is filling. Okay, you're gonna try it, Latrice? All right, let me stir this around. Make sure nothing is sticking. I'm getting ready to turn it off, okay? I'm gonna make up a nice plate, and you all get that first bite. this is so let me do this can you see how much the sauce has thickened up on those noodles oh my goodness Gina you have rewritten our arma mata <laughs> all right that's it let's make amen once again to my beautiful prayer let's make a real small plate because I, I gotta watch my weight I gotta watch my waistline a little bit okay so I'm gonna have a little bit, but enough that y'all can eat some with me. Rasta pasta. Ooh, thank you, Lord, for this. This is gorgeous. There's loads of chicken in here. There's spicy spice in here if you like spicy spice. If you just love a good Jamaican recipe or pasta, you're gonna love it. Mm, great proteins, nice and creamy and dreamy. Ooh, -wee. Ha ha, get in there. All right, let me get some peppers. Beautiful. I'm, I'm coming around right now. Looks amazing. Feel better, Shakita. Oh my goodness, I hope that you feel better. I sure hate when y'all come on here and you don't feel well. I just feel so bad. Heavenly Father, we pray for, pray for Shakita, if that's her name, that she feel better in the name of Jesus. All right, who wants to see? Somebody wants to see. I'm gonna let you see it. I'm gonna let you see. Here we go. Look how it's coated, the noodles. Now, let me just tell you something real quick. If you, I'm showing you. If you would have, listen to me, y'all. Ah, ha, girl. <laughs> Gotta get that bite. I'm gonna give you some. Uh, if you would have been that person that put uh, oil in your noodles, guess what would have happened? Well, this is what would have happened. Your sauce would slide off of the noodles, right? It would be, it would be uh, irritating, right? So for this recipe, there is times that we all put a little bit of oil in our noodles. Sometimes we do, right? But please keep in mind when you do that, you have the potential of whether it's a tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you're putting on. The sauce will slide right off of the noodles. And in order for get, to get, let me show you this. Let me show you how the sauce is coated, this noodle. In order for the sauce to coat the noodle like this in such a way, you cannot oil your noodles. If you oil your noodles, sauce slides right off and you're going to be like, on, Right? Turn that, turn that light away from me so the people can see me taste test this right here on today. Watch this, y'all. I'm going in. I am, I am, I am. Oh, we got onion. We got pepper. We got noodles. And there's chicken. There's chicken on the fork. All right, let's taste. Hold on.
Mm-mm-mm. You know what? Look at all that chicken. It makes me feel like curry chicken in a way. In a way, because you got that spicy. But then you got that creamy, dreamy. And you got the noodles. This right here, yum, says Miss Karen, absolutely. Go ahead, take a bite. Mm -hmm. You're gonna miss out on this recipe. Mmm. You don't wanna miss out on it, I'm telling you. <laughs> Trying to bite it. <laughs> you should be. Mm. All right, let's let's see again. Let's see. Let's see. Trying to bite through the phone, through the camera, through the iPad. I know. I know you are. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie said her socks is off. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Creamy, dreamy deliciousness. Easy. Easy meal that you can put together any day of the week. <laughs> he said bang on the table when it's good. When it's good, Gina, you got to bang on the table like you always do. It's that good hands down. <laughs> Y'all so funny. Okay, Mildred says, need I need Gina? I need directions to your home. I got a few people coming. <laughs> I'm coming in my Flintstone car. <laughs> my tires are made out of rocks. <laughs> I'll fill my car up with elephant water. <laughs> How funny. Why does that make me laugh so much when you say that? It's because I can picture you in a Flintstone car pedaling with your feet. <laughs> it's so funny. Gina, I was watching one of your old videos from four years ago making macaroni and cheese. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, this is good, y'all. Was it the recipe where I made my grandmom's baked macaroni and I put the cream of chicken soup in it and the onions in it? Was it that recipe or was it a different recipe? Mm -hmm. Y'all, remember when you make this? Don't cook the peppers too much. They can't be cooked down to mush, okay? You want them to stay gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. It tastes better when it's gorgeous. When it's pretty, it tastes better. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Sonia, I'm waiting on you, Eula. <laughs> when I come in here, to bring you all great recipes. I'm hoping that you'll try them. <laughs> Mildred. <laughs> mm. The noodle is perfectly coated in this gorgeous sauce. You can feel the heat. You know, you can feel the heat going through here. Just a little bit, it's not too hot, but it's spicy enough. Mm, mm. The veggies look good because they are. And we didn't overcook them. Look at all that flavor, Sonia. On that pepper right there. Like there's so much flavor on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I have a video how to make this. I have a video how to make this. You do, Miss Karen. You love them? Mm-hmm. I do too. Especially when you pair them up with onions. 
Slap says, woo. It looks good. Don't y'all forget. <laughs> don't y'all forget me, Sonya Mildred, says Susan. Susan said, don't forget her. <laughs> That's funny. The mac and cheese was a different recipe. You were packing up and moving. I wonder, okay. Did that recipe have the sweetened condensed milk in it? it? Let me know which one it was. I'm just curious. Y'all. Stuffed salmon tomorrow on Gina's new channel. Yes. Yep. Oh, you bet. Mmm. Mm. Every time the food gets in my hair, you know it's good. Oh, Lord have mercy. How does that happen? Gina, I wanted a little heat. So I added a few red pepper. Oh, absolutely, Denise. Denise, let me know what you think. And like I said, keep in mind with this recipe, the longer it sits, the better it tastes, and it tastes even better the next day. Okay, Ashton says I was packing up and moving. I'll have to see, but what are you saying about the mac and cheese? You want me to make it again? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Back up away from the plate, Gina. You don't need all them carbs, girl. But I tell you what, it tastes so good. What if I can't back up away from the plate? Because it tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet and condensed milk. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. It's such a great recipe, and that's the recipe that I used for this past um, holiday. Everybody loved it for the mac and cheese. Mmm. Y'all, my plate. Look at all that sauce. I'm going to do this for you all. I'm, I'm going to do this right here. And then I'm gonna push the plate away from myself. Cause I ate all the noodles. Look at the sauce. Look at the dreamy, creamy, delicious sauce. <laughs> I'm done. I said, I can't, I can't, I'm done. It tastes so good. You better make yourself. Yes, coconut milk can make a good what? Oh, a good, yeah. It should make a good shake. I've never tried using coconut milk for a shake, but I can see where it would taste good. Oh, thank you, Ron. I gotta get some paper towels, y'all. I ain't got a paper towel in sight. <laughs> I ain't got a paper towel in sight. Oh, you could. <laughs> it needs a straw. You absolutely could. You absolutely could. <laughs> I never heard that, but that's funny. Drew Moss, welcome back in. Linda, welcome back in. It's hard, it's hard not to eat all that Rasta pasta. Excuse me. Because smooth and creamy, yes, it does, Purple Love. Yes, it does. Oh, you was finally able to catch a live. Well, welcome in, uh, Nessa. What's your last name? Nessa Jones. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Thank you, Sonia. Healthy recipes with Gina. I have arrived late. It's okay. You're never too late. Here's the thing. Here's what I always like to say. If you didn't cook with me, you're never too late. We just appreciate having you in here. Absolutely. We are, we're grateful that you came in to join us. Oh, you couldn't find. Okay, what's your name? Susan. You couldn't find the Smucker's Caramel. Okay, so what you'll do, just get, um, just get another container of caramel and, and literally just don't use all of it. 
leave about this much in the jar, okay? Because I don't want you to have too much caramel. So if you can't find Smucker's, you can able to find another jar of, of caramel. Use it all except for about this much, okay? And then you'll have the correct measurements of your caramel. So you must be getting ready to make that better than anything cake that Gina made the other day. That was so stinking good. Listen, y'all, the cake was hands down delicious. I made it live. Better than anything cake, Gina Young style. It was a total knockout. So good, so good. It's 68 degrees in Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne, Indiana, my goodness. Oh, hold on, y'all. The camera's dying. It's okay, we're gonna fix it because I don't wanna lose y'all right now. Good night, Wendy. Thank you for coming in and joining. I'm sorry I wasn't able to speak to Wendy. Sorry about that. Usually it's the ice cream section. Oh yeah, thank you, Ron. It, it is, you can find the caramel in the ice cream section. You made the mac and cheese, let's see. Okay, so Mary Graham says, I made the mac and cheese and it was out, and they was out of onions and it was delicious. Okay, okay, great. I'm glad it was good. I watched the hot dog and spaghetti video, says Nancy. Well, that's great. Listen, that was good. That was good. We still have some left. What are you looking for? Mm -hmm. uh, we still have some of the spaghetti left that is absolutely amazing. That's what, that's what we may have a little later. We got... Uh, I love you. He's safe. <laughs> y'all, it's my husband. Drive me nuts. Y'all, let me tell y'all this. He always losing something. He, all, he laughing now. He all, I'm, I'm telling him. I'm telling him, baby. He said, you need to stop telling him. <laughs> I'm telling everything. Y'all, he loses everything. If it's anything of his, and it can be lost, he will lose it. And then he drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm telling it all. Y'all, he loses. He loses every single thing. Where's my so-and-so? I can't find it. I can't find the keys. Where's the other set of keys? I can't find this. And I'm just like, oh, Lord, please. I just start praying. I just That's all I could do. I just start praying. He just told me, he said, quit doing that. Quit telling him everything. <laughs> yeah, he, he would lose, he would lose his head if it wasn't attached. Oh, he would lose his head. <laughs> That's why a few minutes ago, you may have seen me say, what's wrong? <laughs> right? What is it? What is it now? <laughs> he lost something again. What, what is it now? I can't find my... I just thought, oh gosh, not today, not today. <laughs> we ain't doing that today. <laughs> he left, y'all. <laughs> He'll be back. Hi, sweetie pie. Do your dad lose everything? Do your dad lose everything, sweetie pie? Can you say yes? I love you, boo boo. You a good boy. Why you, what? <laughs> Isn't he cute, y'all? This is Polo. This is Polo, baby. His sweet booger. Where's your brother at? Come here, Pee Pee. I'm, I'm giving y'all Prince. Uh-oh, Prince, sorry, honey. Okay, hold on, let me fix the hair on your face so you don't look like a werewolf. Say hi to the people, sweetie. Oh my goodness. This is Prince, y'all. Y'all know he has the baby face. They're same age. They're brothers, teacup Morkies. Say hi. Oh my goodness. They are so perfect. They are perfect. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, your Yorkie is barking. My goodness. Okay, I, I thought. I had it bad. I can't remember when I walk in the room. Oh, Sonia, is that right? <laughs> oh man, he does. He does every. It, listen, 
every day. I can't find my, what, anybody see my wallet? I'm like, oh Lord, no. <laughs> that dri it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. <laughs> Your, okay, so T. Smith says my young needs air or Apple air tax for everything. <laughs> I have a teacup multi poos. Oh, is that right? I, I can't picture what a multi poo looks like, but I think I can. I'll have to pull it up. Drew says, Saj, you got any pets? Lisa, welcome back in. Lisa Fairchild, how you doing? Okay, so uh, Laffy Green says, hey, Gina, have you ever her? I, I didn't get your message. Gina, you like turtles? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Turtles are ugly. <laughs> No, they are disgusting. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> they old and crusty. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, so Ron said, wives tend to move our... Oh, <laughs> don't you dare, Ron. Don't you try it. Don't you try that on me. <laughs> <Don't do> that. <laughs> and, and Dakota said, mom, you do do that. Hold on, let me, let me read Ron. Ron, let me read Ron's message. Okay, wives tend to move our stuff around from where we lay it down. See, <laughs> and, and that's what my husband believes. He believes that I move his stuff. Now, when it's something of mine, I keep my stuff in a certain place. I keep the microphones in a certain place. I keep, you know, uh, my purse keys i keep my shoes everything anything anything i keep everything in its own little spot and like if i take my rings off if i take jewelry off, whatever it is take something out of my pocket i make sure it all goes to where it's supposed to go now on his hand when he takes something out of his pocket or bring something in or bring something upstairs or downstairs or wherever he likes to put everything on the dining room table and i go bonkers <laughs> i do i'll be picking his stuff up and i'll be like why <laughs> this is me picking his stuff up i'm picking his wallet up i'm picking the keys up i'm picking the m m's up i'm picking the peanuts up that he wanted the uh, red bull I, his cell phone, whatever. I'm picking all this stuff up and I'm saying, why can't he put this stuff? <laughs> put it where it go. Just put it where. <laughs> no, I don't move it. <laughs> I, 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 well, I guess I do. I can admit that I move it. But don't pile it on the dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I wouldn't trade him for nothing in this world. <laughs> Kathy, hello. <laughs> Don't you dare, Ron. Don't you dare. <laughs> Give a tarantula a chance. Uh-uh. A uh, heck no. A guilty, Gina's guilty as charged. I feel you, Gina. My daughter's does that too. Is that right? Oh my goodness. Oh, you like pit bulls. Um, pit, what, here's what I feel about pit bulls. I feel like, I feel like when it comes to pit bulls, it's the owner that can make them mean. Now, some pit bulls can naturally just be mean. All depends on, they know how you want them to act. And if you want them to act out, they will, right? They can be nuts if you want them to. 
But if you don't raise them to be nuts, then they ain't gonna be nuts. There are some good pit bulls out there. That's just what I think. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Let me read this message. <laughs> you said I'd be frustrated and ready to scream. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're scared of pit bulls, Valencia. That's right. You put it in the wrong place. There you go, Sue. That's right. You put it in the wrong place, Ron. And my holy king. Quick, quick, coming in, dropping that stuff on everything on the dining room table. See, see, see. There's like, right now there's a ball cap on the dining room table. My, listen, if you go in the closet, I have hats. I have over, I don't know, maybe 60 hats. Just lined up, they're all bent, and they're all inside of each other like this along the, along the, the thing uh, in the closet. So I got one row and then I got a row of hats on top of that, like that, right? Right? And, and, and like when I take this hat off today, when I take this hat off, it's going back with the other hats, not on the dining room table. <laughs> and I have to move it. <laughs> Your puppy chews everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see. Karen, is that you? Your puppy chews everything. You tell him to stop that. Say, I'm going to get you. You stop that. <laughs> Let's see. It's our table. Okay, hold on. This is funny, Ron. It's our table, too. <laughs> Mine is on the table, too. <laughs> How funny. I believe you. I believe everything you say. <laughs> Nancy, good night. Oh, Sod says, I'm that way too. <laughs> okay, which way? Which way? Where you're taking the stuff, where you're putting stuff in place or leaving it in unknown spots? Tell me. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all the dogs fighting right now. Hold on. But if they hear me talking about them, they'll completely stop. Hold on. You see them fighting? Hold on. Well, they might not be fighting. They're, I think they might be playing. More playing than fighting. Look at them. Ain't they cute? <laughs> Ain't they cute? Oh, Saj, I seen you said, okay, you're putting it in place where it goes. Okay, okay, okay. Raymond, how you doing? Yeah, I think they're uh, friendly taps, yeah. Nate Dog, hello, welcome back. Dog fight. Your money's on Polo. <laughs> That's so funny. He is the bigger brother. <laughs> That's so funny. They are cute. Thank you. Can you scratch, scratch my, uh, scratch my back real quick? Hurry. <laughs> my back is itching. Come scratch my back. Yeah. Who you think I'm talking to? It's just me and you in here. He said me. Come scratch my back right here, right over here. I personally can't tell them apart. Oh, you can't. Sonia, can I send you a tarantula? That's what he just said. Oh my goodness. No, I, my back needs scratched over here. Uh, tarantulas are, are pretty scary, I'd like to say. Oh, they're, they're scary. They're scary enough right here. <laughs> she said, Drew, the devil is a lie. <laughs> Right here, please scratch here? it right, right there, okay. right there, scratch hard. <laughs> Not under my underarm, oh my so gosh. <laughs> Can you just scratch the right spot? <laughs> Lord, <laughs> please, are you being funny? I'm so serious right now. Okay, try it again. Right here. Not under my arms, just here. go down. Here. Down, right there, up, up, left. Right there, scratch, hard as you can. 
Thank you. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, dip them in chocolate and they're good. Oh, ain't no way. I know you ain't talking about the tarantulas. Dip them in chocolate. Uh-uh. I know. See, life, he act like he tickling me. I, I wanted it scratched hard. Okay, the dogs are done playing. They done wore themselves out. <laughs> Jackie said, ain't no way. Please, no spiders. There's people... When when I hear pe when I hear that there's people afraid of spiders, it kind of tickles me a little bit. I think it's funny, and the reason why I think it's funny because I think a spider you can just smash that baby and you know and it's done. It's one and done. You know, get the spider and it's done. I'm not afraid of spiders, but I mean, if you're gonna talk about a tarantula, well, that's a different thing. I know, Mildred. I wanted him to scratch hard. My back was itching. Probably because they was talking about tarantulas in here. Cats aren't creepy. You have a sweet, a cute, a cute, sweet one. I'm afraid of cats, Thomas. I have to tell you. Thomas, cats freak me out. It's the way they look at you. They got that diamond eye, that diamond eye shake for their pupil. And they just stare at you, and I think that they're going to claw me. I would rather have a boa constrictor in here, just running loose, rather than a cat. I'm that scared of cats. I know, I know it's nuts. I know it's nuts, but I'm scared of cats. I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, their cry scares you? Ooh, they do have a scary cry. That's the mating sound that they make, Sonya. When they be like, oh, no, wah, right? That's the mating noise that they make. That's what I always thought. I don't know. <laughs> Am I right or wrong, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I can't either, Miss B. Gina, what? <laughs> I saw a snake the other day outside by the creek, and you ran and screamed. Oh, my goodness, Alan. <laughs> what, uh, Drew said, wait, cats are cool, Gina. I, I don't, I, I'm scared of them. Oh, thank you, Susan. It, it's, it's, it's makeup, y'all, but like I li always like to tell y'all, I make sure to do my makeup when I come on here because I don't want to come on looking, looking like anybody. But I, I just want to tell y'all, I don't have perfect skin. It only looks this way because I have makeup on. Um, I have skin that, ha like, I, ha I get blemishes, and I, I get blemishes and, and different things with my skin. I have oily skin, but the makeup helps it to look better, <laughs> a pleasingly aesthetic. But I, I do not, by all means, have perfect skin. But thank you all when you say that. Just know that it's makeup. <laughs> Don't stop. Do you like roller coasters? Lisa, I love roller coasters. I love them. I love everything about a roller coaster. I want, okay, you said you want a bingo cat. Look them up if you get a chance. Okay, I'll look them up. So uh, do I like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. Listen. I'm one of the people out there that um, when I get on the roller coaster, I'm like this. Hands is up in the air, and I'm like, what? I'm screaming, and I'm having a ton of fun, right? I don't want to be holding on to the rail scared, but I tell you what, cats' fingernails pop out. They do. You do like this, right? Push on their pole, and then they'll go, whoo. I'm doing okay, dog man. How are you? Welcome back in. Do you cook frozen hamburger? I do. I do. I do. And I make um, the frozen hamburger patties as well. It's pre-made frozen hamburger patties. I just throw them babies on. Just as delicious. Um, the roller coasters. Oh, what was I going to say? There is one roller coaster that freaks me out. 
I, listen, listen. I'm one of the type of people that I like the roller coasters. I'm not afraid of any of them because I'm not afraid of heights. I always tell y'all, I'm not afraid of heights. So I'll get on the kind that has the twist and turns and that does this and that. It's going upside down. You stand on it and you're going down these hills and you're flipping upside down. I'm, I'm all for all that, right? Because I like stuff like that. But there's one that I don't like. And guess what it is? It's the kind that's a big circle, right? And everybody's sitting around in it. And your feet is just dangling, right? It's a big circle. Tell me if you know the name of it. Turn it this way. And we're, you're not working on that. Are you done with the editing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, listen, listen. So everybody's strapped in. Everybody's feet's dangling, right? So what they do, you're on the ground. You're strapped in. You got the straps here and you got the straps across your waist. They make sure they go around, make sure, check everybody's buckle, make sure you're buckled in. And they lift you up. They're lifting you up like this. Keep in mind while you're on there, Gina, you are awesome and so funny. Karen, thank you. Um, they're lifting you up, lifting you up, lifting you up, right? Everybody's up. And, and now remember, you're strapped in, your feet is just dangling. They're taking you up real slow. Boom, right? You finally get up there. I mean, and you are up there. You up there in heaven. And so they just keep you up there for a while, right? And then when they decide to drop you, I feel like my heart is left up there. That one right there, that freaks me out. But I'll get on the highest roller coaster, the fastest roller coaster, the one that twists and turns, the ones you lay down on, the ones you stand on. I want all that. But that right there, where they take you up and they then they just do this. Look, they do this. Drop you. That one is too. My heart sinks. My heart sinks. So that one right there, it scares the daylights out of me. But when I go to amusement park, somehow I always wind up on it. I know. I know. I know. It's nuts. Mimi says, I can't do rides. <laughs> you don't do rides. So listen, the tower. Oh, what's it called? The drop tower or something. Drop tower. It could be called the drop tower. Power tower or something like that. My husband one time, this is a true story. I, I told y'all one story about him and his roller coasters. But this one, we so I, I, I had him get on that with me, right? And the first year he got on it, it was like a teenager running a ride, right? Listen, listen, y'all. Yeah, the zone drop or something like that, Mildred. So it was like a teenager running it. My husband going to say this after everybody, after everybody done got snapped in. He going to say, ma'am, can I, can I get off? And she said, yeah, she let him off. And then they had to check everybody again. And then we went up, did the ride, got back down. And he and he and when we talked about it, he was like, I, I couldn't do it. I just got scared. And I'm like, okay. So the next year, I asked him, y'all, listen, I said, You want you want to get on it? And he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I'm not scared, right? And he was acting all like he was ready. And he like, let's go. Right, acting like that. I can't believe it. He got on it. They snapped him in, and guess what he did? He tried to ask them. This is the next year. He tried to ask them again. Can I get off? Right before the ride started. And guess what this teenager said? I think it was a teenage boy or girl. I can't remember. She going to say, yeah, you can get off after the ride is over. Boom, she hit that button, and we went up. And he was like, oh. <laughs> and I thought, good. Don't do that no more. <laughs> don't, if you don't want to get on, don't get on. She going to say, yeah, you can get off when the ride is over. She hit that button and we said, and he was like, oh. it didn't work. It didn't work the next year. He said, I ain't never getting on that ride again. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's all nuts and crazy. I know. <laughs> you said, ha ha. I, he thought he could do it the next year because the kid, the kid the year before was like, yeah, you can get off. They stopped the ride and everything for us. 
right? And I'm thinking, I can't believe this. He tried it again. They said, yeah, you can get off when it's over. Boop. <laughs> Sonia said, I don't do roller coasters. Only, <laughs> she said, only a merry-go-round. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I heard of a merry-go-round. Don't you dare, Sonia. <laughs> Nikki, welcome, man. <laughs> I can do the kitty rides. <laughs> Yo, I love it. And now they got the ones where you can. Yeah, they did. They got them. Miss Karen says it's called a drop zone. Scary as crap. But it is fun. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Sonya old like me. No, y'all ain't old. <laughs> Don't you say that, Nate. Y'all ain't old. Because I totally understand people that don't like it. Listen, so now they have the roller coasters that it's almost like you're flying like Superman. To where you're standing up. You're strapped in standing up, right? So, hold on, let me see. <clears throat> so you got straps right here. Right, and then you got something here, and you're standing up. And the first thing they do with that ride is they, they take you up a hill, and then you're going down. And it's like you're flying down this hill, and then you do twist and turn. I love it all, but, but that one where they drop you, I always feel like my legs is going to crash into the ground when we get to the bottom. Because we're going down so fast, we're dropping. And it looks like your legs is going to just crash into the cement. <laughs> but I love it, even though it's scary. Oh, you like that one, Ron? Let me see. You used to love roller coasters when you was in your 20s. Okay. You said, now no way. Okay, so Charlene says, I'm 52 and I still get on roller coasters. Oh, yeah? Okay, I love it. <laughs> it's a great topic it's a great topic because not everybody not every now we had a situation with the kids when they was older the older boys so we go wherever we was dakota wasn't even born <clears throat> we go to get on this boat and this boat is huge it's huge and people are sitting all in this boat and it starts off slow like this, just a nice rock, right? And then it goes higher, and then it goes higher, and then you're doing like this, right? On a serious note, you're really doing like this. One of the kids said this, oh, Mommy, Daddy, I got a poop. And I thought, oh, my gosh. I thought, oh, no. The ride was still going. And I said, oh, no, right? Because <laughs> it was nuts. So only thing that we could do, we had to wait for the ride to be over. And then my husband picked them up like this over his shoulders. Over Both of them, they was little. <laughs> picked them up over his shoulders and ran to the bathroom. So they can use the bathroom. There was no accidents. Nobody had an accident that day, but it was not funny. I thought, oh my God, I know you ain't right now. Your big grown butt about to poop on yourself. And you wanted to get on this roller coaster. <laughs> oh, mommy, daddy, I gotta go. I thought, what the heck? <laughs> I know it was nuts. He, he, he just threw them over his shoulders and ran. And ran for the bathroom. <laughs> you would have had so many what? <laughs> my holy... Okay, so Saj says, my holy king, I would have had so many panic attacks. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Ron says, there's a roller coaster ride up high in the forest. You run almost head first into a large tree trunk before the last second goes to the right. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. Okay, so Mildred says, I remember that ride. 
Hold on. I remember that ride at King's Island. You was in your 20s. Oh, you do? Okay, okay. Okay, so Miss Tris says, yeah, that one, Gina, LOL. <laughs> Gina, yeah, you said that one scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Yo, for some reason, I get, I don't know if this is fun. This shouldn't be funny to people, but I think it's funny. I don't know. Do I think it's funny? I just think it's fun. I think roller coasters are fun. And I think it's funny when people are scared to get on the roller coasters. But I always want somebody to ride with me, even if they're scared. I'm like, please get on with me. Like, get on. Because I don't want to go by myself. Good night, Eula. Thank you for coming in. Sonia said, no way, Ron. Goat cars. Yeah, goat cars are always fun. I never ride the goat cars, but the boys and my husband, they will ride the goat cars. I, I don't I don't get on them because they go a little too fast for me. I, I've been and hit somebody's wall. Dakota, get on the goat cars. He will. He get on them bad boys. He be, he be booking the too. Okay, so Saj says, Gina, you go for somebody. <laughs> you gonna force somebody out of their fear oh hold on let me see it's not that i'd be wanting somebody to ride with me i'd be like okay so we came here i want you to ride with me why would we come here and ain't nobody gonna get on the ride with me am i being selfish is that me being selfish the beast the beast the beast um isn't the beast, doesn't the beast, isn't that um, wooden, like a wooden uh, roller coaster? And it creaks when it when you get on it? Karen says, what about the boat? Oh, Karen. Karen says, what about the boat that stops at the top and leave you hanging upside down? I like that. I like stuff like that. I'll be the one while you're left upside down. I'm doing like this to make it rock. <laughs> my husband said one of the older boys he said he said so he 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 took them to a uh what what's it called like a carnival i was at home dakota might have been little tiny <clears throat> so my husband takes them and they're on something i can't remember what they're on and the second to oldest said and so my husband said it took them and then they're sitting up at the top. It's, it's, it's two of them sitting like in a basket and the other one was sitting in the basket by itself. And uh, so they're sitting up at the top and it moves a little. So they stopped people so more people could get on. He said that our son said, Dad, wouldn't it be crazy if this thing just broke on us? My husband said, I wanted to knock him upside his head talking crazy like that <laughs> while we stuck up here. He said, I wanted to knock him in his head. I think he called me that day and told me, Dude, let me tell you what he just said to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking, what's wrong? He said, let me tell you what he just said while we sitting up at the top rocking. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy, Dad, if this thing just broke on us? <laughs> he said, I wanted to knock him upside his head. <laughs> I know. Okay, let me see what Sonya says. Hold on. Well, where's Renee? If you get in my way, what are you saying, Sonya? Hold on. Oh, bumper cars are great. Remember that, y'all? Bumper cars was a lot of fun. But I tell you what, I, once I got stuck in a corner, I could never get out that corner on the bumper cars. So I, I, um, as I got older, I, I would always pass the bumper cars up, say, no, I ain't getting on there. Cause I know if I get stuck in the corner, I ain't gonna be able to get out. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for coming in and joining us at Linda. Miss Tris says, I can't. Okay. So Ron says we rode the chair lift up Gatlinburg and the guys in the front 
of us rocking. Told them you would not. <laughs> Tell them you would knock them out. <laughs> when they got off, that's what you're supposed to do. Tell them. I, I, when you get off, I'm knocking you out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Great fun. Great laughs. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for coming in, K. Mitch. And Miss Karen said, I would have said that too, Ron. Bumper cars were. So now there was another ride that used to be at our fair. And this is when I was younger. I mean, I was young, young, because I know I wouldn't be just hanging upside down, you know, when I was older. But when you get in, it looks like you're going inside a spaceship. The floor drops out. The floor drops out and gravity sticks you to the wall. So me and my brothers, I can't remember my sister doing it. Me and my brothers would get up against the wall and then we would be able to turn upside down. Yes, we would be able to turn upside down. Our feet is up here and our head is down that way. And we stuck up against the wall and that thing is spinning because gravity sticks you up against the wall. That was fun. But now, when you feel that the ride is slowing down, you gotta hurry up and get down. Otherwise, you're gonna fall flat on your head, right? So as the ride is slowing down, you're able to turn the right way and then gravity will eventually suck you off the wall. Little bit is in here. Um, under Ashton Bull, Drew. You're crying laughing. <laughs> okay, when they got on the swing, okay, hold on. When they got on the swing mile, high bridge, if they didn't swing it, let's see, two years old. And, and Kathy laughing at you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gina, do you remember the wall and it spinning around? I do. I kind of do. I kind of do. Oh, you hate that ride, Drew? I thought that was so much fun. Like I said, me and my brothers would flip upside down. We hanging upside down. And gravity just got us stuck to that wall. That was fun. Now, we went to the fair every year. My dad would always take us to the fair every, every year. It was so much fun. The smells the concession stands, the food, the candy apples, the bratwurst with peppers and onions, the corn on the cob. I lived for, I loved the, the fair, um, uh, what are they called, y'all? The fair french fries with malt vinegar on it. I, I really like that. Okay, Christy says, I remember. You missed the fair so much. Is that right? The food, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and I, I also like the um, what what is it called? The uh, the elephant ears or whatever you call them. They are delicious. Yeah, <clears throat> honey, I told him you. I told him you lose everything. That's all right. He's back. I'm getting my book together and I'm gonna release it. They all <laughs> gonna see it. I'm... Listen, listen. He said that's okay. He said, because I'm writing down everything you do, and I got the perfect time. I'm releasing yeah. everything on you. Yeah. He's in a good book. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's writing his book yeah. now. He, yeah. Yeah. he writing yeah. a book about all me. All the stuff y'all don't know about Gina Young. <laughs> he said he's it's going to be called All the Stuff Y'all Don't Know About Gina Young. Yeah. That's what I'm, doing. I'm getting it together he, now. He, he said he get us. Uh, take off. He said, I'll, she said, I'll buy it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, I got customers. I got uh, Ron said, I want a copy. See? See? Uh -huh. Oh, the yeah. turkey. Turkey legs at the fair is delicious, Sonia. Everybody say hello. Tell everybody say hi. He said hi. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, okay, Christy said, I want a copy too. 
<laughs> now, are you giving them away or are you selling them? Because no, they no. said they want a copy. Oh, no, 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 no. To the, to the, loyal, to the loyal subscribers, I'm going to give them to them. Okay, he said to the loyal subscribers, y'all y'all yeah. just get one for free. Tell them just be patient. I'm already on chapter three. I'm already on chapter <laughs> he said, three right he, said, he said, just be patient. He already on chapter three. <laughs> All things you didn't know about Gina Young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's, they want to know. They want to. They want to know what the latest is, honey. Uh -huh. They yeah. want to know what the latest is. The latest what? Stuff from you. What's the latest thing that I did? Oh, man, just uh, <laughs> good. They said good. Right? Good one, wreck. Mr. Young. Yeah, wreck. Wreck everybody's brain in the house. He yeah. said wrecked everybody's brain in the house. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They, uh, they, Jackie said chapter three, she's cracking up. <laughs> but, uh, Miss B said, okay, Mr. Young, I want one. <laughs> He's going to release it. It's oh, going to yeah, be I released. Sure <laughs> he, said, right. he said, I sure right. am. <laughs> yeah. I'm already talking to Cisco and Ebert there. <laughs> he right. said he already talking to Cisco and Ebert. <laughs> he, he said he, he's getting it lined up right now. <laughs> He's something else. He's something else, and the dogs just ran with him, too. <laughs> Leave our stuff alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's something else. <laughs> and, and took the dogs. The dogs ran. They even ran. The dogs is tired of me, too. <laughs> Y'all silly tonight. And sometimes <clears throat> we just have times where we are just so stankin' silly on here. Oh, thank you, Ron. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, she's baby. Baby. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm going to see. He, did, he in the basement, though. Hold on. Go tell him they said make it into a movie. <laughs> They're going to need Steven Spielberg for that. <laughs> Gina, what you eating? Reese's cup. I can hear him in the basement. He just told Dakota, yeah. He said, I got the movie and the book coming. <laughs> Jill Scott can play you. Oh my goodness. Y'all better stop. You know that's funny. You know that is hilarious. Jill Scott can play you. Because y'all really think that me and her look alike. That is totally funny. I'm gonna tell him later. He's in the basement. There ain't no way he can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I think she's pretty as well. I do. Oh, I've been on that demon drop. That's what I'm saying. It's scary. That thing is scary. <laughs> Ron said, ain't no way. <laughs> I bet on it. It's scary. The heck with that. Who will play Mr. Young? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to really think about that. <clears throat> See, rides that need to use the... <laughs> Angela says he writes that need to use the devil to describe it is too scary for me <laughs> because a few minutes ago somebody said Gina did you get on the demon drop <laughs> and I said yeah I got on it <laughs> and she said see rides that got the devil's name in it mm -mm, too scary for me <laughs> that sounds so funny the demon drop and that thing was scary well, thank you, my holy king. Thank you. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know. You said, do I think? 
I, I don't know. I really don't know. I just hate when people say we look alike. <clears throat> I hate when people say that I look like Jill Scott because I don't think so. I mean, I think she looks totally different from me. I mean, I don't hate it, hate it, you, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Purple love. <laughs> when the movie come out, I'll be seated at the front seat. I'll be sitting in the front row, Gina. Oh my goodness. Samuel L. Jackson can play. <laughs> oh, it would be so funny. LL Cool J. Oh my goodness. We'd have to choose. So I definitely would have to use Jill Scott for me because everybody says that. <laughs> That's funny. No, I, I don't know. I like Sanaya Lathan. I know we all look nothing alike. But uh, I'd like to use her for me. Maybe they could make Sanaya Lathan look a little bit like me. I like Sanaya Lathan. I, I do. Ah, oh, it's a compliment. Thank you. That's what my husband says when I tell him. I say, baby, people always say I look like Jill Scott. He said, baby, it's a compliment. She beautiful. <laughs> I know, I know, but I just don't think I look like her. Harry Belafonte, if he was still living. Oh, my goodness. Denzel Washington. Hey, that's a great one. That would be a good one. <laughs> Nia Long. <laughs> yeah, when I came on here, I had a headache, but my headache is gone. I appreciate you all. I really do. I appreciate you all, and I'm so grateful to have you all in my life. I'm telling you. Can't wait to start cooking again when I, okay, so John Ward is saying, can't wait to start cooking again when I'm released. Okay, John, well, I hope you have a great time cooking. Oh, you want it signed. <laughs> oh my goodness. He does. He does, he does, he does, he does. You're right, Ron. Oh, thank you, Susan. Oh, thank you, Andre. I appreciate you guys. Who is, who's in rehab? <laughs> okay, this person is saying that they're in rehab. I think the name was... Uh, they said they can't wait to get out of rehab so they can begin to cook. I don't know where the message went. <laughs> Angela, well, you have to look up there and see what the name is. What are you making today, says Natalie. Well, Natalie, I've made rasta pasta. Rasta pasta was made today. It is a Jamaican recipe. It has noodles, peppers, and onions, and chicken, or shrimp. It's got spices, and it has coconut milk, and it's creamy and dreamy, and it's so delicious. The recipe can be made like that, right? It's so much fun to make, and it has Parmesan cheese in it. But um, you should definitely watch the replay. I need to see that. You should definitely watch the replay. Oh yeah, John Moore. You should definitely watch the replay <clears throat> to see how I made it, cause you have to have this in your repertoire of recipes. It's a recipe you can make any day of the weekend and you're gonna love it. Let me see. Go turn the air off for me, please. It could be physically occupational we have not, not yeah absolutely t smith yes absolutely i know especially a good belly laugh we have a lot of those on here 
a lot of belly laughs where we just can't stop laughing. You turn the air off? I don't know why we got the air on and it's freezing outside. <laughs> oh, he fractured his leg. My goodness. Mm, John, you doing okay, buddy? I'm going to make your better than anything cake sometime. Alan, you better let me know how you like it. I know you're going to love it. Do you know what the Rasta pasta, can you add rice with it? Now, let me ask you this. Um, are you wanting to add rice in with the noodles? Or are you wanting to add rice in replace of the noodles? Let me see. Rice with the noodles or rice in replace of the noodles? Let me know and I'll be able to hopefully answer that question for you. Pasta and rice. Is that what she's saying? Okay. Oh, you're too, uh, uh, Susan? Let's see. Gina with Rasta pasta, can you add... Gina, it's cold outside. It, it's cold. It's cold outside where I'm at right now. I mean, like, it's cold. I know. I don't know why the air is on. It ain't even get 80 degrees out here today. Let me see. Jared are nice looking cats. Oh, and they're called ragdolls. That may be a bit much. Pasta and rice. Okay, always fun on Gina. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Sonia. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I, 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 I felt myself getting a little down. Just a little down, just a little bit today. But a comment like you just made, Sonia, I appreciate. Because I know you mean that. And when I come on here, I strive to show you all a great time. I pray about great conversations. I pray that everyone can come in here and enjoy themselves. I pray that I can show you all a great recipe and you can share it with your families. You know, I really do pray for a great time. But then, in the background, there's always people. And, and you could only imagine when there's a million subscribers. There's so many people that, you know, they might, they complain about anything under the sun. There's people emailing me about all kinds of stuff under the sun that I, that they don't like. They don't like that I don't wear a hairnet. I'm so serious when I tell you, right? And it's not just one person, it's a million people. Not really a million people, but you know what I'm saying. There's people that, they don't feel recognized in the chat. They, yeah, mm -hmm. they um, feel like I, I miss their messages. They feel like um, their requests are being not being answered, and sometimes it can it can just work on you just a little bit. But I tell you what, when you got God on your side, can't nothing. In this world, overturn what, what God, you know, you know, the relationship that you have with God. And when I get messages like I just got from Sonia, it really just brings my spirit up and, and helps me to know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Because here's the thing. When I get behind this camera... Whether I'm on live or I'm doing a video, I don't even feel like I'm working because I love what I'm doing. And it, it, when you love what you do, you don't even feel like you're working. And I do this for you all in hopes to bring great recipes and teach the world how to cook. But like I said, in the meantime, I pray that everyone's enjoying it. But you can't always make everybody happy. And I, I know that. And I got to keep telling myself that when that, when that happens with those people, you just peeps, uh, a lot of people. I don't I don't know if you've ever heard this, but some people are only in your life for a season, and then they're gone. 
And that's how God made it. Do you understand? So, and when that happens, they just are in for a season and then they're gone. And the people that are in your life for, you know, to stay, then they're, they, they stay. Uh, but it, but you can't make everybody, you can't, you can't make everybody happy. And I can't read everybody's met People met, y'all, let me, let, let, let me show you something. I want to I'm gonna look at something real quick. Dun, 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 dun. I want to I show y'all how many emails I have that I haven't that I haven't actually looked at. Where is it at? Okay, look. So I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if y'all can see that. But that number right there, fifty one thousand two hundred and twenty eight emails. I ain't even looked at. I ain't even looked at them. It's impossible. And I'm only one person. I ain't got a secretary in the background reading the emails and sending me, you know, and let I can't get to the message. And people feel like she don't care. I care. <laughs> I can't get to your message. It's impossible. I can even start deleting messages so I can get to the messages, but it's impossible, especially when I have four emails, right? And not only are people leaving messages on emails, but they leave messages under all 1,600 videos. There's 1,600 videos right now that somebody is leaving a message right now that I'll never be able to get to. 1600 1600 videos i could try to get to all the messages but i can't i could try to message back as many people as i wanted to but your message may never get answered <laughs> right so i try to come on here and give you all what i can give of you of me to you you know and then you can speak to me on a one-on-one -on -one basis and y'all can get to know me but it may be impossible that i never see your email it may be impossible, you know, and people don't understand that. Yes, absolutely, Ron. So thank you. But thank you all for understanding. Absolutely. Thank you for understanding. And thank y'all for loving me. <laughs> thank you, Miss B. <laughs> but... I didn't realize it was 51,000, 51,227 emails. Ain't looked at them, and I ain't got no plans right now to go to 51,227 emails right now to answer them. Your request might not get done, but I got a huge, I got a huge to-do. I got a huge to-do request, even from people that's not in the chat. Like typically when I come on here and do a live chat, y'all see kind of like the same people. There are some new people that'll chime in, but there's people in the background watching those 1600 videos that message me on a daily basis. And I may get to their recipe, but I may not. I may not ever speak to them in a message. So... It was nice to talk about it. <laughs> I ain't a robot. If you bet it's a lot of emails, I'm proving it right here. 51,227. That's, that, that's what that number says right there. 51,227. <laughs> I've been following you since 2019. Your recipes have been hits in my household. God bless you, Gina. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I think your name would be pronounced Sh Shalikia Cunningham. Thank you. I understand and I respect you. Thank you, Mildred. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you. Drew, that was so weird, but guess what? That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. I've had some crazy, 
I had some scary emails, some crazy emails, messages. I, I, I get messages under videos that I did in 2017. We're in 2023. We're in 2023 right now. And somebody right now is messaging me under a video from 2017. I go to those videos. I message as much as I can until I'm falling asleep. But somebody ain't going to get a message. And the world don't know that I love each and every one of y'all. Because I do. Azusa said, wow, it's so true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you said the mosquitoes is disrespecting you. I tell you what, that is one disrespectful. No, guess what I think the most irritating bug is. It is mosquitoes. But another irritating bug is those little tiny gnats that they like to call the fruit flies. That, those are so irritating. And then the next thing is those little tiny ants. If you get those little tiny ants in your house, you better be calling Orkin or somebody to come put the bait down so that they, you know, so that they can take care of them. Because it's hard to get rid of little ants and those little tiny gnats. Oh my goodness, it's the worst. The flies, yeah, the little teeny tiny flies. Oh, uh, so, so what we do with those little tiny flies, because they can get in even if your door isn't open. Even if you don't open the window, somehow they can get through. It, it, they said, here's what um, the uh, pest control said. They said, with those little gnats, they said, what you got to do? You can't have no fruit out on the counter. You can't have nothing that smells out on the counter or on top of the refrigerator or in the trash. They said, because if they smell it, they're coming in. So here's what he said. He said, before y'all go to bed, make sure that, of course, the dishes is done. Um, make sure you put a little bit of bleach in each sink. And as long as you know everybody's going to bed and nobody's getting ready to use the sinks, pour a little bit of bleach in every sink and it helps to get rid of them. So when it's hot in the summertime, I do that and it works. And then they also come and they spray the outside of your house and they'll spray certain stuff to get rid of those little things because... They are like the worst. I don't like the little ants either. Okay, can't stand bugs that constantly swing by the ear. Dakota had that situation. He was outside and he was doing like this. I said, what's going on? He was, he's fighting at some type of bug trying to get in his ear. <laughs> you said they drive you crazy. It's thundering. Oh my goodness, Drew, you be careful. Saj, you need, let's see. Okay, so Kay Coffee says, Saj, you, you mean they need to be, uh, they need to be paying rent. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Crickets. <laughs> oh, you don't like crickets? Crickets ain't never bother me. They make a lot of noise, especially if they get in your garage. If, if one cricket gets in your garage, you can hear that baby like it's right in your ear. Oh, you're going to get in the tub with the mattress on top. Is it, is it storming that bad? Oh, it's a tornado. Drew, will you be careful? Oh, you've been doing that with bleach for years. It works. They when they told me that it, it does work. I don't keep potatoes, um, onions, any no fruit or anything on the counter anymore. Anymore. Dishes is done when we go to bed. Everything's wiped down with pine salt when we go to bed. Uh, counters is wiped down. Trash is taken out, and bleach is in the sinks. And it, it, it really does help prevent those little those little flies, those little teeny tiny gnats. Heavenly Father, right now, we want to take this special time to pray for Drew and anyone that's in the, in the areas that um, is having tornadoes. Please bless over them, Lord Jesus. Keep them safe in Jesus Christ's name. Let no weapons formed against them prosper in the name of Jesus. 
Heavenly Father, please protect Drew in Jesus Christ's name. Please protect any of them that is in danger right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. Today, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. They said dangerous storms. It, it, it's dark outside right now where I'm at. I mean, it is extremely dark. And like I said, it's cold. Shirley said, I know that's right. Yes, amen. Amen, I'm sweating. You're scared of crickets and big cockroaches. I'm not, I'm not afraid of bugs. I'm just, I'm not afraid of bugs. I'm not afraid of worms. Oh, but I tell you what we had out there the other night. So me and my husband did a bonfire the other night. And we're sitting on that couch the other day. And uh, I had a nightgown on. And um, I had like some flip-flop house shoes or something, something on. I was, I had a blanket on the couch. But I felt like I felt something on my leg. And the reason why I felt like I felt something on my leg is because I seen a slug on the rug outside. And I thought, ooh, and you could just see it slimy, right? It was just a slide on the rug. And I thought, heck no, that's nasty, right? And I kept looking at it the whole time, making sure it wasn't coming our way. And then I looked up on the roof, and like where the gutter was, there was another slug, and you could see it just leaving its slime. And I thought, ooh, y'all. I started, I was like, ooh, I don't want these things to come crawling up my nightgown. <laughs> and they were disgusting. Slug something to cook. Ooh, uh-uh. I don't want it. I don't want if it, I don't want it. I know. Okay, so Jared says salt for the slugs. I I, I actually did that before. I'd like to say I was an, an adult and there was a slug, a snail or something. We put the salt on it and you watch it shrivel up. And I thought, oh my goodness. I said, that works. I did that when I was a kid. Or, or. Did I do it as a kid or an adult? But I thought, my goodness. It was just a bug. It was just a bug. Just a bug. That's all it was. <laughs> I'm really, really afraid. Oh, purple love, don't you? You ain't got to say it twice. Purple Love says, I'm really afraid of mice. I don't like the way they jump out. I didn't know they jump. Oh, don't you scare me like that. Oh, I listen. Mice, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I had a bad experience with mice. The year, the year, the year I started the channel, I had a bad experience. Y'all, it was a nightmare. I'm gonna talk about it one day. Mm, I don't like them. I, I don't like them. I, I don't like the mice. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let me, let me see, let me see. So Harold, how you doing, Harold? Harold says, hello, when you hit that, it's heaven. When you hit that, it's heaven. Hello, when you hit that, it's heaven. I, I didn't understand your message, Harold. Gina, you ever did Disneyland? I have. Um, I have. Actually, a couple. Well, let me tell you. It wasn't a good experience. Because. Oh, they jump and can climb walls. Ron, don't you dare. Ron, don't you dare. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I seen a mouse years and years ago. They can go downstairs. That's scary. That's scary. That right there, oh my goodness, that is scary. Yes, 
Gina, you ever did Disney? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Disneyland, hold on. Here's what happened at Disneyland. So we went to Florida. This was the year the pandemic started. Just me and my husband on a vacation. It was so romantic, at least. We thought it was going to be romantic. And we was going to be there for three days. We was there for three days. When we got there, it was freezing cold. You think, we're going to Florida. We were so excited, thinking hot weather. We took shorts and everything, and we was all happy, right? Got on our first airplane ever. We get there, it was rainy. The first day it was cold. The second day it was rainy, it was cold. We had a swimming pool right outside the hotel. We stayed in a very expensive hotel. It was like the Disney Resort Hotel. I don't know the name or whatever, right? But it was gorgeous. We, get, we paid a lot to stay in that room. When we get in there, we realized there was no microwave. Because they want you to come downstairs and eat. They want you to come downstairs, buy your food, and eat down there. Because normally, if we go to a hotel and we got a nice room, we got a microwave, we'll, order, we'll, we'll get us some noodles, we'll get us some TV dinners, we'll get us all kind of stuff. And heck, we'll make the food in the, in the room. This room was so expensive. I mean, it was so expensive. It didn't even have a microwave. We was upset about that. So if we looked outside of our balcony, there was a swimming pool. There was a ton of people out there swimming, but guess what? We wasn't going to go get in that pool. Guess what? It was cold. It was rainy and there was people still in there. So I was upset about that. Now, when we went to Disney, we, we got in there and we turned back around because it was cold. It was just like the worst trip ever. So next time we go, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that the weather is perfect. That's if we, if we ever go, because I, I don't know if we're ever going to go. But it, it was not a fun trip. We made it fun with ourselves, um, you know, uh, and, and then um, what else? Oh, we went to like, uh, like sea, like a sea world or something, and we could see all the fish and stuff jumping. Y'all may have seen the video a couple years back. We could see the fish and the whales and all that, and we was feeding some of the animals that was in the water. That part was a lot of fun. Gina, you are, are you sleepy? I, I don't feel sleepy, but I can tell you this. I went to bed after 3.30 in the morning. I, I know, I know. But yesterday, all we did yesterday is we slept the whole day away. We slept the whole day away. We slept the whole day away yesterday, and then at 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, my husband said he wants some coffee. So we had coffee, and then I was awake until after 3.30 in the morning. I went to sleep, and then we woke up at, we both woke up at 8 this morning, and uh, we had a whole lot of business to take care of. It, but we didn't have to leave the house to take care of it. We was doing it online and talking to different people and this and that. There were so many different things to do, scanning papers and doing all kind of stuff. So uh, we finally did a video this evening at 3.30. And then you see the video posted for the, the spaghetti. Um, and here we are live. So I may be tired. I don't feel tired, but I, I, there's a chance that I could be tired. I don't know. Now that we talk about it, I think I am tired. <laughs> mm. I, don't see a, I don't see a message on here. 
Okay, go to the California. Oh, oh, you say you'll go to the Cal. I'll go to the California, but not Florida. Oh, okay. So what does Mildred say? So you said no way, Mildred. <laughs> what do you say, Ron? I forgot to tell you that my youngest daughter caught it. What what did she catch? Drop it down in the front of your, in a, in front of your own bottom steps. What was it? Was it a mouse? Was it a mouse? Oh my goodness. Ain't no, I hope it wasn't. I hope it wasn't. What is she talking about, y'all? Tell me. I have to know. Oh, <laughs> Purple Love just told me. My goodness. Oh, my eyes are getting sleepy. Y'all, y'all, y'all know me now. Y'all can tell. Y'all can tell when I'm sleepy because when when I'm not, my I, I mean, you could really see the whites of my eyes. But when I'm tired, these eyes will close. They'll close on their own, won't they? <laughs> I think Ron knows me up and down. Oh, is that right? What? Do I remember the one that was in your house? I remember Mildred. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, y'all. I don't like it. What breed is Prince and Polo? Says, what's your name? Rager? Uh, Prince and Polo, they are teacup morkies. M-O-R-K-I-E-S. And the reason why I like to spell it is because some people think that they are Yorkies, with, spelled with the Y, but they are Morkies. So they're mixed with the Maltese and the Yorkie, and they're hyperallergenic. They do not shed. They won't get any bigger than six pounds, and they are absolutely amazing and so smart. Your youngest granddaughter. Oh! Your youngest granddaughter's cat caught it, Gina, and put it at the bottom of the steps. Oh, now listen. Was it alive when they put it at the bottom of the steps? Tell me, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Even though I don't want to hear it, I do want to hear it. Hi, Loka. How are you? How are you? Thank you for coming in and joining. Let's see, Ashton, I want to go to Magic Kingdom. Oh, you do? I think you would enjoy it, Ashton. Doing good. Okay, great. I'm doing okay, Loka. Thank you. Oh, okay. You said nice it was. Okay, okay, Mildred. Ooh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. That's the great benefits of a cat. <laughs> Although, but I'm afraid of cats. It's nice to catch a live. Well, listen, Loka, I um, am live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesdays is going to be on at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mondays is going to start being at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if at any time I decide to change the time, like to 5 o'clock, because maybe I have something to do later, I'll always post in a community post, hey, y'all, I'm going to put the live to 5 o'clock, okay? So I'll always stay in communication with you all and let you know um, w what, what time I'm going live, okay? It is great to have you in here. Okay, so Miss Tris says, when I was young, my older cousin was asleep on the couch. Oh, girl! You were asleep on the couch and a mouse bit her potato chip. <gasps> her potato chip grease finger. Oh, she had two little tiny. That is one of the scare. Y'all, I wouldn't be here to tell the story. Miss Tris, I wouldn't be here to tell the story. <laughs> Miss Tris, no. I don't want nightmares today. I don't want nightmares. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, no thanks. No, thanks. 
Mm. Oh, way. Y'all, so the other day, let me tell y'all this. I don't know if y'all know, but my mom has passed away. Uh, she passed away uh, in 2020 or 21, one, one of the years, 21 maybe. But I so I had a dream. I had this dream the other day. Oh, I'm fully covered from my surgery. Absolutely I am. And I'm feeling pretty good. So thank you for asking. Um, but so I had this dream. And in the dream, I'm somewhere. It's, it's almost like I was um, like at a workplace or something. I, I'm assuming. There was like this gentleman. I don't know who the heck he was. I never seen him a day in my life, in real life. I don't know who he was. But he looked like he was like a manager or something, right? He had a badge right here. And his badge said Batman. His badge said Batman. And I was with... So I see my mom. And I said, oh my gosh, I ain't seen you in a long time. Right? And she's like, hi, right? So I, I'm i with like, looks like some type of manager. And I said, this is my mom. And I introduced him to her. And I was embarrassed that his tag said Batman. But I felt like the tag always said Batman, right? But to for me to be able to introduce her to this manager, whoever he was, I was just embarrassed that it said Batman. But anyways, and he was like, hi, but he was looking like this, like, that's how he was looking at her. He was like, and I was thinking, what, right? I'm in the dream, like, what? Why are you looking at her like that, right? So, hold on, y'all. So, I asked her, I said, over here, I said, we can eat over here. You want something to eat? We was holding hands, too, walking, like, down this aisle. I said, you want something to eat? She's like, yeah. And I said, well, they got this. I said, you could, this, I was like, this part right here, you can make you like a salad, or you can tell them to make it into a sub, or you can get, like, hot food, right? And she's like, mm, yeah, I want to, right? All of a sudden, I'm with some other people, and I'm eating, right? And as I was getting ready to order some food, I, I noticed that I wasn't with her anymore. And I thought, I, I'm supposed to be eating with my mom. Where'd she go? I went looking for her, and she was gone. And I woke up in a panic. And I was thinking, well, oh, no, before. So when I noticed she was gone and she wasn't in there eating, she wasn't nowhere sitting down, she wasn't ordering food, I started looking in these rooms. And as I was looking in rooms, it looked like I was like in a, in a nursing home or something. Because I was looking in the room and I see somebody sleeping, somebody getting dressed, somebody over there laying down, somebody covered up. And I was thinking, no, that ain't her. No, that ain't her. I'm like, no, no. I'm looking in these rooms. I'm thinking, what the heck's happening? So I wake up and, uh, oh, but one thing that I noticed when I looked at her she was short, <clears throat> and she was shorter than she was ever in real life. I mean, she looked like she was like three feet tall. Right. It, it looked just like her. It was her. It was her shape. It was her everything. It was her face. It was everything. But she was only like three or four feet tall, and I was thinking, why is she so short? But it, it was weird. I woke up, and I was thinking, where would she go? I was supposed to be having lunch with her. And she just vanished. I don't know what that was all about. I, I don't know what that was all about. But I said a prayer. I said, Lord, I want to uh -uh, I don't be dreaming about her. Mm -mm, mm, I don't. I don't. I told the Lord, I don't want to have no dreams. Mm -mm, I already had a dream about her after I had my surgery. I don't want to have another one. <laughs> I, I don't. You said, wow. Yeah, I don't. She wanted you to know she's watching over you. Oh, okay. Oh, you say why. So now, 
I don't know if you all know, but me and my mom didn't, we, we didn't have like a relationship at all. Like there was no relationship at all. Like zero, like zero, zero, zero. When I say zero, there was no relationship at all. When I was little, but after a certain age, we had no, no nothing, no kind of relationship at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I had that dream. I told my husband. My husband said, man, he said, my husband said, I, I don't be dreaming. My husband said, he said, he said, I don't be dreaming at all. I, I'm missing my messages. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, is she alive? No, she's not alive. She passed away and it was like 20 or 21, uh, 2021 or, or 2020. I feel like it was 2021. It may have been 2020, but yeah, she passed away. And I like, like, um, and everyone's dreams, some just can't remember. Oh, everyone dreams, some just can't remember. Ah, I, I, that could be true. That could be true, Thomas. That could be true, possibly. Oh, so you said sorry to hear that? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I've came to terms with it. And I, uh, like... That's all, that's what I had to do. You know, I came to terms of, with it. So I can tell y'all this. So let's see, my mom and dad separated when I was nine. Huh? When I was nine? My mom and dad separated when I was nine. And of course she moved out. And uh, they asked me, who did I want to stay with? I was in the fourth grade. Asked me, who did I want to stay with? And I said, my dad. Y'all know I'm a daddy's girl. I said, my dad. And I stayed with my dad. Um, from time to time, I would go to my mom's house and spend the night and things like that. And um, so I did see her. Sometimes, you know. And But when I got older... She didn't really want to do much with me. She didn't want anything to do with me. When I met my husband in 97, 97? <laughs> my husband's like, what? Your mom, like, your mom don't want to, like, she want to go out to dinner? Does she want to do anything? Like, does she want to come over? Do we want to, do you want to go over there? And I'm like, she, I, I'm in the background. I'm just telling my husband, like, she won't. She don't want to. She don't want to be bothered, right? And so my husband didn't understand that. He's like, like, this your mom. Like, she don't want to do nothing. I'm like, she don't, she don't want to, right? I'm just like telling him. He's like, well, let's call. Let's see if she wants us to come over, come visit. And she didn't want to. She didn't want nothing to do with me. This is, you know, I'm older now. Or uh, can we pick you up, mom, and take you somewhere? She didn't want to. Uh... I remember I asked her during the pandemic, I said, I, I want to stop by and see you. And uh, I was going to stay outside because that at that time we had to wear a mask. I was just going to talk to her from the bottom of the steps because I know she could possibly be scared of, you know, what was going on with the pandemic. And she said she's scared. I said, I ain't coming to the door. I, I just want to see you from the bottom of the steps and say, hey, you know, that, that's all I want. She didn't want to. And I thought, okay. But it was years and years and years and years and years of that. And so she wound up passing away. And the day after she passed away, my dad was talking to me. And my dad asked me this question. He says, so my dad calls me Nina, and I, lo I love him calling me Nina. 
He said, do you remember when you was younger, what you said when we asked you, who did you want to stay with? And I told him, I said, I said, yeah. I said, I said, I wanted to stay with you, with my dad. I said, and I would say it again, over again. He told me, he said, well, your mom was mad at you for making that decision. He said, so all this time when you had no clue what was wrong and why your mom didn't want to deal with you, he said, she was mad at you for saying that you wanted to stay with me. But at nine years old, y'all gave me the choice. You said, who did I want to stay with? And I said, my dad. And from there, she didn't want... Now, I had brothers. I had a brother that she had. And they seen each other every day. They had a great relationship, stuff like that. I had other siblings, but they didn't have that issue. They didn't have an issue. They were older than me. They didn't have an issue where they were asked, who do you want to stay with? And they chose my dad. I'm the one that chose to stay with my dad. And she held that against me. And so I was able to find out after she died. And I guess my dad held that in forever until she died. And then he was able to tell me, like, your mom was mad at you for choosing to stay with me. And so what I told my dad is I said, if I had the chance to do, even knowing that, if I had the chance to do it all over again, I would say my dad again. Ha, you bet I would. You bet I would. Yes, 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 you bet I would. So, um, it, it, you know, uh, some people say, I am, uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all for what you're saying in the chat. But I, I, I don't really feel sorry for it. I just feel like it was... Not my loss, but it was her loss because I had an amazing dad and still do that did his job to a T, right? He did. He did his job to a T. And I had a grandma. Absolutely. So there's, there's a lot of girly stuff that I may have missed out on possibly, you know, uh, different girly stuff that I feel like, um, like I said, that I missed out on, but when it comes to growing up and just, my dad did an amazing job. And like I said, I felt like that was her loss. But God bless her soul. And, um, but like I said, I, I, I don't want to dream about her. I don't want to dream about, I, I, I didn't like that dream. I was just thinking, oh, wait. I know it's nuts. I know right now y'all are saying, oh my goodness. Well, some people used to tell me when I started this channel, everybody would say, you always talk about your grandmom, your dad. What's, where's the mom? I would never say anything. I just never said anything because it's nobody's business. But now I don't really care. I, I just, I tell anybody now. <laughs> Kate Coffee, you're welcome. Absolutely. Absolutely. I tell y'all what, that dream. I woke up the other day. I told my husband, I, and I told him, uh, uh oh. And I told him, I said, I, I don't want to dream like that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. What's your name? Your name is No Privacy. Absolutely. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> Angela, I just read your message. That's why she was short in the dream. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out, but I was trying to figure it out and I thought, what? What's she so short for? Because she, she was regular size, you know, uh, uh, you know, regular height, but in the dream, she was so tiny. And I thought like I had to look down like this and I'm only five, you know, five one. And I had to look down because she was way down, teeny tiny. It was an interesting dream. But I don't want to have that dream no more. You had a great time on the live. Great. Great. I can see your, yes, I am all the way. All the way. She was a pop. 
I, I don't know, because she vanished. <laughs> Nate said she's apologized. She vanished. And, and so, so uh, my husband was asking. My husband said, so, yeah, he said, it's weird that your dad, he said, it's great that we know that your dad told you that. But I wonder if your dad felt like he was holding it in all that time. You know, because sometimes my dad would ask me, he would say, so, hey, you talk to your mama? That's, that's how he would say that. And I'll say no, or I say, I try to call, she didn't want to talk, you, you know, whatever. I tried to get her over, she didn't want nothing to do, you know. Um, but uh, I, I, my husband seems to think, like, maybe your dad was holding that in and just couldn't wait to tell you what the issue was. Yeah, but, but then how are you going to ask me what I want to do and then get mad at me for my answer? Oh, you do, Sonia. Is that right? But you're still short. <laughs> Let me see. Gina, I finally met someone shorter than me. You're 5'3". Is that right? I, I'm so short. I, see, I like being short. I do. I like being short, but I feel like if I was... Um, a little bit taller, just a little bit taller, my weight would be a little bit differently proportioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I like being short, but I like to be just a little bit taller, not a whole lot taller, just a little bit. I know, it is so interesting that my dad told me, and we just couldn't believe it. We just couldn't believe it. Like, are you kidding me? I told my dad I'd say the same thing. I would. You're 5'2", Mildred? <laughs> oh, you said mini me. <laughs> Have a great night, Ashton. Thank you for coming in. Oh, Myra on Family Matters was short like y'all. Gina, OMG, you are so beautiful and differently. Oh, you differently enjoying what you are doing. God has given you this wonderful gift to share with the world. Thanks. You're welcome, Mary. Thank you for coming in. Oh, so Denise is 5'6". Five, 5'6 six. Five, six is not extremely tall. I'm saying for a female. It's okay. Five six is good. It's not extremely. It's not extremely tall. Thank you all for saying good night to Ashton, which is a little bit. Oh, you said some people shrink when they get older. You even seen some. Oh, is it right, Thomas? Oh, thank you, Loka. I hope I'm saying your name right. Oh, you're five six, also, Angela. Okay, you. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Loka. Short people are cute. <laughs> you're five three. <laughs> you're five three. Short lady. <laughs> Oh, your daughter's 5'7". How interesting. Yes, that's interesting. You, I, you were 6'4". After you fail. Let's see. I was 6'4". After I fail. 6'1". Oh, 6'1", maybe. Okay. You wanted to be 5'7". <laughs> Do, we, do I remember that song? I don't. I don't remember that song. You're five ten and a half. <laughs> Walter say, y'all short. Y'all are just short up in here. <laughs> I like being short, but, but I would like to be a little bit taller. <laughs> just just a little tiny bit taller. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, let's see. I wouldn't want to be five, four. I, I 
would I would choose if I had the choice, I would say five three and under. Five three. <laughs> um Oh, you're six ten, my goodness. I don't know about that. He says Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> We're the fraggles. <laughs> Me too, Sonia. Me too. Hello. This is Rikanya. Rikinya. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Dang, you missed the plate. Oh my goodness. Oh, your sis your sister six foot. Okay, Gina, understand completely when I was born in the 1970s, neither parent. I was raised and adopted. I almost born by great aunt and uncle. Oh my goodness, Bridget. Oh, absolutely. I understand. I do understand. But you know, we the great thing about, about everyone is we all everybody has a story nobody knows everybody's story i have so many different stories right but behind that story god has always been right there with me god has always been trailing right behind me one of my favorite um poems this might sound nuts now this poem I, I had this poem on my, like on my wall in my bedroom or something. And come to find out that my mom loved the poem. Come to find out my dad loved the poem. And I love the poem. It's nuts. It's like we all love the poem. But the poem is the, the footprints in the sand. And I, I'm going to try to say it, but I, I don't know if I can repeat it like I, I know it. I used to be able to repeat it like, like I knew the back of my hand, but it said something like this. The poem said, it, I, if my memory serves me right, I could be totally saying it wrong. So forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. There was a man walking along the beach. And for each step that he took, there was a second set of footprints in the sand and he looked back and he said god why during my times of trial and suffering would you leave me during my times of trial and suffering and the lord replied my precious precious child i would never leave you during your times of trial and suffering Oh, no, I said it wrong. There was one set of footprints in the sand and when he looked back. And God has said, uh, my precious, precious child, when you look back in the sand and you saw one set of footprints, it was then that I was carrying you. I, I live for that. That has to be my favorite poem of all times. Because he said, God, when he looked back in the sand and he noticed one set of footprints. Like, God, you said you would never leave me. And during some of my times of trial and suffering, when I looked back, there was only one set of footprints. And God said, my precious child, I would never leave you during your times of trial and suffering. When you saw one set of footprints, it was me carrying you. I had you on my shoulders. I, that gives me chill. Y'all, I got chills. But... I love that poem. Is there anybody else out there that loves that poem? But but just 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 to 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 bring it all together. No matter what I've ever been through in life, God has carried me through. Whether it was not knowing and understanding why my mom didn't want nothing to do with me, I made it through. Cause guess who I had? I had the Almighty. I had the Almighty. Absolutely, I had the Almighty, and He would carry me. Yes, and then I had my dad, uh, amazing dad. Absolutely, 
Absolutely. I left my dad's house. And then a couple years after that, I met my husband and we've been together since 97. But throughout that, it's, it's, been, the, it's been God that has carried me on his back. That poem brought me through life as well. This <laughs> is <says> Purple Love. <laughs> Absolutely. It's such a great poem, right? It's such a great poem. I, I went nuts when I found out how much my dad loved that poem. I'm like, you love it too? <laughs> and he, he like, yeah, your mama loved that poem too. I'm like, she did too? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, you are too, Miss Tress? Okay. That's my favorite poem. I love to read it. Do you, Candace? I, I feel like I, I want to get that poem somewhere in here on the wall. I love that poem. I, I feel like I feel like I, I did I may not have said the poem the right way because it's been so many years since I've read it. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Jackie. I love you. Thank you. Yes, Ron. Absolutely. Y'all, we come on here. We have a good stinking time, don't we? You just ooze positivity. <laughs> well, thank you. I hope I got to ooze it out my ears right now. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I can. I can. You're right, because I, I got a printer in the office there. Um, I could print it out and then put it into a, um, and then I have a eight by 10 picture frame I could put it in. I could do that. Hello. Okay, so Walter says hello to Lang. We are, absolutely we are, Ron. We are, and sometimes, you never know what's gonna happen here at the Young's house. We can talk about everything under the sun. Sometimes I'll come on here. Remember the one day, y'all? Remember one day I came on here, I had an upset stomach. Well, I ate the bread that had chocolate on it. I had some orange juice. Next thing you know, I had to use the restroom and I had to get off the live. <laughs> We've had so many different times on here. Good times. Yeah, we've been on here for six to seven hours before. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on these lives. And I really, truly appreciate you all coming to these lives. And we rock out and have such a great time. It's always a great time. Sounds like when you ate Taco Bell. <laughs> I, yeah, here's the thing. I was on the live. I, I had just came live. And I was telling everybody about this bread that's delicious that has chocolate in it. I ate a big slice. I had some orange juice. Next thing you know, my stomach was going a bubble, bubble, bubble. And I thought, oh, Lord, right? And I'm sitting here thinking, uh-oh. And I, I have this compression garment on my stomach that has like a lot of notches that holds my stomach in, you know, cause I need it after I had the surgery. So this thing, like it, um, it stops up here. It's buttoned up all the way up here, all the way down. So when you got to use the restroom, you got a whole lot of buttons to unbutton, <laughs> right? All I can think about is I hope I can get that compression garment off enough so I can run to the restroom. Because when you're wearing that thing, you can't just pull your pants down and use bathroom. You got to take all them notches off and then go to the bathroom. So I'm sitting here talking to y'all and my stomach's like bubble, bubble, bubble. And I thought, oh no. So I had to tell y'all. I say, y'all, my stomach is hurting. I don't know what's getting ready to happen right now. Then all of a sudden I said, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye y'all, I gotta go. <laughs> and the next live I did, people were saying, Gina, are you okay? I said, yeah. Something then gave me the bubble guts. I think it was the orange juice. <laughs> I haven't done it four to ten times. Don't you say that. <laughs> Usually on a Saturday. 
Gina, someone needed to hear your story tonight. Thanks for sharing. Oh, absolutely. 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 I, I, you, you know, I, I, um, I don't mind sharing it. I, I don't mind sharing it. That's one thing that I don't mind sharing it. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't mind sharing that. Like you said, it may have helped someone in the background. You just, you just never know. But no matter what you go through in life, anybody, no matter what you go through in life, don't let no, look, look at that lip turn off, turn up. Don't let nobody tear you down. Right. Don't let no, the, uh, 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 cause you are somebody, you are somebody, everybody is somebody, everybody is special and important and people don't define you, right? You define who you are, right? And you, um, carry yourself in such a way, right? Don't have pity on yourself, right? Right? And know that you got God on your side and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and you will. And so that's how I live my life. It is. That's how I live my life. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> you Sonia, you so funny. I like the lip turn up, but I so mean it. I, I really do. <laughs> Uh, okay, Gina, I like the lip turn up. <laughs> it is, KD. Let me see. Have you heard about Eglin's Best? What about Eglin's Best? Eglin's Best Eggs. What about it? Please tell me. If God is for us, who can be against us? You are absolutely right. Let's see. Listen to the replay. It will bless you. Okay, Coffee is saying that to KD. Absolutely. What's up with the, with the eggs, Ron? Tell me, because I used to buy Eglin's Best Eggs. Hold on, I'm going to fix my messages. Okay, I sure will go back and listen to it. Oh, absolutely. That's what I'm going to do tonight, y'all, because... Uh, when I ain't got nothing to do and I'm just laying in the bed, I put the messages on the computer so I can run through them. But I put the live on my TV so I can go back and rewatch it. It's always fun. It's fun to reread the messages. Right. You be true to yourself. Absolutely, Jackie. Amen. Amen. Ron, sometimes. <laughs> Mooses are hatching out the eggs. Don't you dare. No, I think he's typing up something, y'all. And we just can't wait. Let's see if he comes back with the message. He's probably typing. Let's see. We are, KD, I'm telling you, we are. It, it's like family in here. It is, it's really like an extended family. It's so much fun. Sometimes it feels like a family reunion as we come together. Oh, you always buy your eggs from Safeway. Okay, so uh, Yvonne says, Hi, Gina, I almost finished cooking my sweet potato pie with pecans. Have you ever fixed your sweet potato pie with pecans? You bet I have. I have the recipe on my channel. I have the recipe. And I do the pecans and the brown sugar on top. I've also made my sweet potato pie with uh, m uh, marshmallows on top. Did you get the recipe from me? <laughs> it's FDA. Oh, I'm going to look at it. Okay, I'll look at it, Ron. L let me see. Let me see what he says. I'm going to try to figure out what he's talking about, about these eggs. I love your family reunions, Gina. Well, thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Renee says, seriously, wow. <laughs> what are you talking about, Renee? What are you thinking about? I just bought a dozen and I'm throwing mine away. Okay, but what did they say, Ron? I hope, yeah, you said, I hope there's nothing wrong with the eggs. Oh my goodness. Okay, eggs are cheap again. She said eggs are cheap again? Uh-oh. Hello, Miss Gina. Good evening to everyone in the chat. Just stopping by to say hello. Well, hello. Thank you for coming in and joining. Ah, uh -huh, there it is. There it is. I just got an email of the footprints in the sand. There it is. One night I dreamed a dream. I was walking. It's hard for me to read it. My eyes are a little blurry today. Oh, you bought eggs for 94 cents. Why are they so cheap? What the heck's going on with them? <laughs> Is there something wrong with them? Why are they cheap? They were $12 a carton. You said that's devastating. I'm enjoying this live stream show. Mary Graham. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here with us, Mary. I am. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming in. Oh, you had that in a frame when you was little. So I, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to print it off, put it in a frame, and then maybe I'll show y'all. Because I got an 8 by 10 frame that I could put it in. I love, I love that poem. Now that is what I call a good poem. Gina, what would you be doing now if you didn't have a live on YouTube? I wonder. I would be in my bed. <laughs> I would. I would. I would be in my bed watching. Um, I, I'll put T.D. Jakes on and put it on my TV and just listen to it right? I might just have it playing in the background. And then I might be reading my Bible or I could be watching YouTube videos on the TV. Um, or I could just be cuddled up in my bed laying down. That's what I would be doing if I wasn't on here. It's true. It's true. And then at some part of the night, I have to get in the community tab and um, sometimes I have to post when I'm going live, post ingredients. I'll be laying in the bed doing that. I'm also messaging people, reading messages saying, God bless, thank you. Thank you for watching. God bless, thank you. You know, um, or if somebody, somebody might say, Gina, can you pray for me? I will pray for them, and then I'll say, uh, prayer sent up. Send that message. Keep sending messages until, I, until I'm all messaged out, and I can't message nobody else anymore, right? So I'll do that sometimes. Or sometimes I'm just cuddled up in the bed, just laying down. That's it. And sometimes I'll be laying with the little puppies. You buy pasteurized eggs, the yolk is orange compared to the white eggs, the yolk is yellow. Oh, okay. You watch Twilight Zone? I remember Twilight Zone. Is that where they said doo 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 doo? Is that, is that what that was? Gina, did you ever live by yourself? Yes. <laughs> Yes, um, when I first left my dad's house and I was um, 18, yes, 
I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Purple Love is is it a good show? So I says, yep, Gina. What's that? Oh, okay. Doom, doom, doom. Thank you so much for sending. Ooh, let me read this email, y'all. Hold on. Okay, did I get the right one? Oh, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. Ten forty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I sent the wrong papers. Okay, okay. That's understandable. <laughs> I'm reading the email, y'all. <laughs> So let me ask you, how many of you all had a great time with Gina Young today? I hope you did. I hope you did. Because I, I had a great time. I had a great time when I came on here. I didn't have a lot of energy. So I asked the good Lord. I said, Lord, give me all the energy that you got today. That's why I was going down the hallway. I said, Lord, please give me all the energy you can give me today. And it, it worked. It worked. The prayer was answered. And I was able to get enough energy to come on here today. So thank you, Lord. I've been watching. Oh, you've been watching Black Mirror on Netflix. I never heard of that. Great time, Gina. Okay. Great. Absolutely wonderful time. Okay. I love it. I love it. Listen, I love every single one of you all in this chat. You bet I do. Just know I do. I love you. I appreciate you all. Tell your family and friends about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen, y'all. So, um, Wednesday, I got to figure out what I'm going to be making. I want to make something good. But whatever I make, whatever I make, it'll be delicious. It'll be fun to make. And we're going to have a great time on Wednesday, okay? Ah, thank you, Ron. You as well. Same to you. Absolutely. Y'all, listen, I ain't going nowhere. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started out here on these YouTube streets. I, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here to make content, to have a great time and fellowship with you all. And we're going to have a great time doing it, whether it's this channel or it's going to be the other channel. It's going to be both channels. We're going to rock and roll and have a good time every time we get behind these cameras, okay? I love y'all. Give me a hug. We can bring it off. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to get into bed. I got to order food for three videos that we're going to make tomorrow. We're going to do a healthy channel video. We're going to do two videos for this channel. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. I got to order the food. First, I got to write down the ingredients that I'm going to need. Then I got to order the food. This will all be done tonight after I get out the shower. And then I'm going to turn the live on the TV. And then at some point, I want to say um, a prayer. And at some point, I want to read the Bible. And at some point, I don't know what time, I'm going to be knocked out sleeping, catching flies. Because my husband told me that I sleep with my mouth open. <laughs> so I know I'm going to be catching flies. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. I love you all. Thanks for coming in and joining me. Thanks for coming in and joining me.
We're gonna do this again on Wednesday. We're gonna have a ton, ton, ton of fun. Now listen, y'all. On Wednesday, uh, the live will be done at six o'clock, okay? 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If at any time I decide to change it, I'm definitely gonna let you know, okay? But I don't have no plans on changing it. But so we're gonna do six o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, and then Saturday, going live again, okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Have a great night. Hey, watch the replay if you want. Good night, y'all.